I'm Betros, joining me on the mic. Thank goodness. It's your boy Imbatross. It's some people pronounce it I'm Betros, but I don't really I'm, I'm I don't really correct Simo, people. Simo, bam! Look at my <laughs> Christmas attire. I don't really correct people anymore because I think it's so funny whenever someone misspells my username because it just happens all the time. Right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's just you can't avoid it. There was one guy who called me I'm a boss. I completely forgot I'm his name. Boss. I completely forgot his face, but I will never forget that uh, man. <laughs> that's the one part of him you remember. Yeah. Good. <laughs> God, God, what a wonderful guy. Um. Okay. So hindsight, deck step. So uh, deck step. Let's go deck step. And on the other hand, hindsight is uh probably the best view sword fighter in connecticut right uh, definitely yeah you don't see a lot of this character but man whenever you pull him out i mean you just know it's hindsight right like this guy's on vortex all the time uh he gets top eight a lot too it's the staple of me sword fighter right here Le right? the lead pr panelist i i presume and you know a classic vortex uh goer we got a lot of the vortex crew invading hog today yeah yeah, so, we got we yeah, got hindsight. We got uh, does Brand go to Vortex? Brand's here. Yeah, Brand's mainly a Vortex. You know, G Extreme, yeah. Clive. He's kind of both, but yeah. Speen, Speen. Uh, Actually, speen. you know what? You know what, Belcrops? You're in luck because both of these characters Speen, and they both go Speeny McGee. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't uh, oh. me sort of better have like Link Uppy? Uh, yes, he can, but hindsight prefers to go with not that one. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Huh. Well, well that's on me. I should have known that. <laughs> <laughs> Should've known, huh? Well. You know what's so messed up about this commentary setup? I'm usually what's on the left. On? I'm like never on the right. Okay. And it just messes me up. I don't Did know why. I, yes I, I, I just never know why. Uh, wow. Well. But that's that's. Okay. Yeah. Speed to win. All right. The most interesting fist bump and the dang step is ready to roll. Good oh, so so dang step. I actually carpooled with him. Uh, right. dang step said that if he gets a PR win with Donkey Kong, he will. First off, drop the character. Right. <laughs> I remember hearing this. All right, let's hear it. Secondly, leave the venue immediately, even if he's T.O. Okay, okay. T.O. And then out of here. he'll quit the game. And then. And the reason why is because the PR can't get a revenge win. Now, he really doesn't <laughs> want them to get their chance at revenge. So. Yeah, he, he does. <laughs> uh, but first, he's got to win uh, more of these neutral setups. So far, uh, Professor Smith's looking pretty easy. Going oh, for that clean up smash. Side B after the up smash. This is, what we <laughs> this is what we love to accept for. He just goes for, like, the riskiest stuff. He goes, and every time he gets it. Yeah, he, he like, he goes for downer there. He goes a wild, <laughs> and it's kind of working right now. Yeah, you, you know. When I Dex don't think he has a jump. Man, when Dex up works, it. it is, like, the hypest oh, thing no ever. But, here. you know, that tornado... Uh, messes up a lot of uh, Donkey Kong's usual approaches, yeah. and you have to wonder what that's going to look like as the set progresses. Yeah. Going to have to up B again. Yeah, that's going to be okay. a kill. Yeah, with Dang Step, you never know what he's going to do next, which makes it a very interesting thrill to watch. He hey. is alive. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Good awareness of that down air, uh, because very, very vulnerable character against that. Uh, you know, Donkey Kong's up B, obviously very punishable. Hindsight. And hindsight... Uh, going for a little bit of these mid-range combos lately. Um, you know, the, the Ooh, only time that he really, <laughs> okay. the only time that it really goes for the far side is just to harass him with these, uh, with these little O's, these Cheerios. Oh, grounded up beat, just like Chat said, Armor just like Nature right intended. That's, that's gonna be the first stock. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Well, good jabs. Wow. Uh. Oh, okay. I thought that was gonna be up smash. Thanks, said with a good DI out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and he's gonna punish that side B again. The dash attack dash, killing. That kills, huh? Especially on DK. He's like the second or third heaviest in the game. Pretty sure he's third. But yeah, that did kill. Huh? I'm not good with stats. Maybe he is. I'm a stat guy here. Ooh, okay. So... Oh, you're a stat guy? Okay. Uh, tell another stat about one of these characters. Uh, I'm pretty sure Me Sword Fighter is like 100 units. I think he's a bit heavier than Mario. DK, I remember he's third tied with King DD. Let me stop trying to be a nerd here because Smash is all I do. And he Ooh. armors straight oh. through the Gale. If that was the spike yeah. hitbox, though. Thanks, has got to hold on to this last cool. stock. Uh, getting Thanks. a lot harder to. Thanks, I... at 144. He lived to like 170 the other stock. Oh, yeah. That's, that's going to be the kill. Yeah. Nice and close. Yeah, really clean tornado kill. And actually, hindsight, I love what he did there with the ledge uh, trapping. He knew that Dankstep was going to hold on ledge. So he just threw that slow one out. Yeah. And I think he threw like a fast one out in the middle of it and then threw a tornado. Uh -huh. And it's like, you either roll or you die. And if you roll, you're probably dead anyway. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, a, a common hindsight W. <laughs> the Me Sword Fighter Tornado actually hits ledge and a bit below it. And I also learned a few days ago that the Tornado has base, has set knockback, the same distance whether you're at zero or 999. So he can mo he can always guarantee a confirm off that unless you're like really close to him, I'm pretty sure. Base knockback is so hype. Yeah. I just feel like it's it's, it's like always cool, you know, like Link's bear always one into cool. Uppy. Yeah, I, I just like lose it over that stuff. Wow, how epic. Uh, so hindsight seems to be oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> monkey I, fist versus the sword. I always want to call that like some sort of anime reference where they just like clank with like every single hit, but I don't know fist what's versus reference. Metal. Where is that yeah. from? Uh, Who knows? I don't know. The first thing that comes to mind is TBZ, but that's not TBZ. Yeah, I don't watch anime, so Hind hindsight. Is... Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Hindsight does have a bit of a lead here, but it is still. DK, especially thanks up. Who knows when the monkey punch is Tornado. gonna come out? But thanks up's out of there. Hindsight is really figuring out uh, where these tornadoes belong. <laughs> <laughs> Hindsight just, just played it safe on thanks up. Yeah. Does a bunch of moves on the ground. Good strap. I, I just I just realized that this webcam looks so much like a codec call, and I'm not gonna unsee it for the rest <laughs> a of the codec set. Call. <laughs> oh my uh, uh, it's a Metal Gear Solid. Uh, yeah, reference. that's like yeah. snake thing. Yeah. Okay. Look at these up airs. Okay, waits for the nair. Yo, look at that. I'd say upper. he's got even that better be adaption, upper. doing much yeah. better than game one. Yeah, and look at that. Right Ooh. when Dankstep landed, Hindsight was right there to uh, cover it with the Nair. Like, he's even mixing it up okay. like, on the ground. Keeping him in the corner, goes for yeah. the up air. And um, this is just how you put the fear in your opponent, right? Dankstep hasn't landed in a while. Oh Has God. landed a couple fares, though. Is this going to be the up air? Okay. okay. Oh, Hindsight saw that coming, and he uh They're he both down. above 130? Yeah. Okay. Hindsight. Yeah. Hindsight. Hindsight clutches it out first. Can't be for long, and Dankstep it might be on his last winner's stock. Yeah. Unless he can pull Jeez. something together, but you know, it's Dankstep, baby. Yeah, he's charging up that Giant's Punch. Okay. Outside of upbeat, Dankstep's really struggling to get these kills here, which you would not assume with DK. Since... Ooh, the F tilt almost killing. Okay. And really hard to challenge that. Gonna charge that down smash. Almost the right move, but just a little almost, bit off of the timing. But... Yeah, it's so hard to be able to Max approach. Rage, Me Sword Fire, Dinksup's gotta take oh. this stock quick. <gasps> oh, he was trying to sauce him. He How was trying to sauce him. that not work? I don't know, All right, but... Dinksup, keep some of your dignity and don't get three socks. Like a grab, like the uppy classic. Uh, smash. That's... Oh! <laughs> I can hear hindsight mash from here, but no amount of mash is gonna save you from <laughs> the Ding Dong DK throw. Is hindsight the goat or is Dinksup goaded? If you were here, you would know it's both. I promise you. Facts. Of course. Get up attack? Um, oh. The, yeah, okay. He went for the neutral get up into up beat. I understand that because the armor would have gotten him out of there. Um, but yeah, another grounded up beat. Okay, so making okay. some moves back in this neutral. Tries to follow it up with a dash attack. Instead, going to get poked off stage. When does Hank, when does Dinksep use the giant punch? I've not seen it yet, yet this set, but, you know, he does keep uh, and charge it up. He's he's going to be very careful with this. He really needs to steal oh, a stock there it is. on that. He was it unfortunately almost reading worked, the but platform. Oh my goodness, the most interesting trade I've seen in a while. 204%. Oh no. And does uh, the sword fighter have a kill <laughs> 916. Oh, that's no, it. That, yeah, uh, no, he can't. He, he can't up that long and it ends in SD. Well, that's the day step. Let's go, thing so. He did live pretty long, though. That was pretty epic. All right, hindsight two zero and dank step. Uh, I don't know where that actually brings him in the bracket, but higher. I can tell you that. Yeah. I uh I played Dawn as you guys saw, and I got wrecked. So he might actually be against Dawn next too. I'm not really sure how the bracket goes. Now I think I have to fight hindsight for top oh. eight winners. So... Right. You were just talking about that. Yeah. So. Yikes. Hopefully you guys will be on stream, but like someone uh, said in the maybe. chat, this bracket's super stacked, and you are absolutely right. Um. I mean, every hog back is stacked. I was like, these guys are crazy. Like, if you don't believe me, come on down here, seriously. Ooh, Dawn Clive next. Absolute. Dawn and Sea Live? Is that what we said? Yup, yup. Dawn and Sea Live, okay. Okay. So, Dawn's got the hypest Mario on the entire planet. And Sea Live has a Sora, pretty sure. His, his, his Sora is, like, super, super good. Um, but I kind of feel like Mario Sora is, like, in Mario's favor. I think it is. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure. Probably, yeah. I yeah. mean, you know, the classic stereotype. Oh, <laughs> stubby Italian plumber man loses his swords, but swords key played ain't really that big, and I feel like Don can, Don and Mario can weave through like neutral and especially like the swords, swords neutral be like the reflector right. can definitely get past that, which is a common sword move. So yeah. Uh. Uh. 
I'm going oh, to station you? one. <laughs> All right, well, that is. Good luck. All right, I'll uh, tell someone else to take over commentary. You both um, cross out. I would like assistance. Anywho, later. Uh, oh god, now it's just me again. I'm out here stranded alone. Um, um. I do not like, as you saw before, I do not wear the headphones given because I don't like to listen to my own voice. Anywho. If Green Guy was wearing his headphones, he would know that I was here for him. Well, yeah, I already said something I didn't. Oh. Maybe I should put it on. That's funny. <laughs> you okay. have them on now? <laughs> I was just saying if you had the headphones on, you would be able to hear me say okay. that I was here for you. Alright, so, Artie's here to support me. Hi, Space Toast. Yo, Space Toast? Are you hearing yourself? I can disable that as well. Um, I prefer not to, but... I'll just keep the headphones off. I don't know. Okay. I mean, if you can hear yourself, I could turn it off. That's all. All right. Alrighty. Hmm. Well, you know, I presume Dom will win this one. Of course, he is the favorable seed here with the PR man. Is this where top eight winners? I think so. I don't know. This might be round two. No problem. Space How toast. stacked it is this week. But regardless, you know, I'm I'm pretty. Yeah, they did carpool here. They, they they came down, carpool here, got Chick Fil A, and now they're battling on the stream, having a good time. Thank goodness he did not go Joker. Okay. Live does not really main any specific sword against Silver Skin, but I'm pretty sure he likes to use that one from whatever Kingdom Hearts that is, and the the, Z, the zebra one. It's like the ultimate form or whatever. I don't know. I've never played Kingdom Hearts before. Anywho, regardless, here we are, Don rocking the Cotton Candy Mario instead of the wedding. And we're off to the races. These two, of course, who would have guessed? Definitely not me. And, okay. Alright, yeah, Don can't really confirm off that down throw 70. Oh, I thought that, I thought F-Smash Angler down might have hit the ledge and killed Clive there, but nah, it goes for the jump. Yeah, Sora is really floaty and light, so I'm, I'm don't think that's really gonna help, you know, his Don's combos much. Much, but regardless, Clive with like the that was like right at the percent where Nair up smash would have killed, like 105. Wow. Okay. Oh yeah. And you can either fast fall the Sora's Nairs on shield, or you can just let not fast fall and let it bounce. And Clive with the good. Decided not to fast roll that, bounce right over the up smash. But regardless, Don with the classic dash in up smash. Okay. Clive does have the lead here. He has Thunder, which I'm pretty sure is like Sora's least favorite um neutral B to have at low percent. I don't know. Oh the random side B? Okay. Alright, so you know, Clive of course does have the lead, but it but it is Mario of course, so he could just, you know, bunny man up air you at 30 and bye bye. Fireball into fair, not gonna connect that ledge. <laughs> that raw F tilt almost did kill. Okay. Dash attack to catch the ledge hang. Don's got max max rage here though. Could be a little bit scary for Clive if he can't close this one out. Oh, he was looking for the back air there, but Don's Nair stuffs it out. <laughs> water to get him off stage. Nah, Nair and Fair aren't aren't gonna raw kill just yet. Back and side B, not. Nah. Down with the smart overshoot Nairs. Gets him off stage. Oh yeah. Great, great space from Clyde there. So Orkin just hang off stage for so long. He's got a great recovery. Nice and floaty. Oh <laughs> I heard Clive go away from here. Alright. Oh, it's dead even last stock though. Okay. Oh, wave dash back down tail, Ayo. Yep, Don's looking for the classic either grab or down air neutral opener, but Clive, of course, knows this. They probably... <gasps> okay, he's fine. Yeah, they probably play a lot. They are carpool butts, and... Oh, wow. Okay. Clive's cooking a little bit right now. Hold the phone. <laughs> Don with the water to push him off stage. Nah. I wonder if the water, like, pushes you back more the, f the more damage you have. I don't know. 
Oh, one more nair from Clive should probably do with the nair up smash. It definitely will kill. He's looking for it. Oh, all right. The up air confirms are pretty much out, but you know, Sora's pretty light. Up smash will kill soon. Oh, oh, Clive thought he would land on the platform, but he somehow doesn't. Not that always set up the platform. Oh. Oh, Don as stoic as can be, but Clive gets the landing fair to F-Smash, I believe. Oh, the, the sip of the Chick-fil-A, though. Hold on. I think Don's drinking a milkshake there. Looks like it. Anywho. Okay, okay. Clive on the verge of an upset to beat the bit number 10 PR player. One of the pick songs. I love when people do that. Just, you know, always get the chance to pick whatever song you want on the, you know, FDs and Battlefields. That, that's like one of the best shit updates they've had. Instead of just picking like Battlefield, normal Smash Bros. music. So lit. Anywho, back in it. Oh, Don's, Don's busting out the main wedding suit, Mario. He's going full business now. Down here? Up he past the ledge. Okay. From there, yup. Get him off stage. Clive aggressively swinging on. Right. Yeah, Don does like going for these edge guards, but Clive and Sor has great recovery mix up, so. Oh, he didn't grab there! Wow! Oh, the back here almost does it. He's still fine. Oh, Don baiting him out. Oh, he misses the tech. Don's really good at edge guarding. If you can edge guard a sword, you got my respect. God damn. Oh, the side B does just put in the tech chase there, but it looks like Clive wasn't ready for it. Okay, bats him off. Okay. <laughs> Up smash, double bear. Bam. Last hit of Blizzaga just hits him. Oh, Clive's really looking for this neutral air dodge read, but Don ain't giving it to him. Uh, oh, almost does it. Not quite yet. Alright, is Clive going to get antsy for this kill here? He goes for the I, I, IDJ Nair. Oh, looks like he messed it up there. Yeah, Don could definitely tell he's fishing for the Nairs. Oh, catches the air dodge out. Nice. Went for the grab and said the Nair yet again. Hey. <gasps> <laughs> I heard Clive making a bunch of squiggly noises as soon as he did that third side V. Oh, I thought he was going to back here. Smart genius play doing the cave. Okay. Don's really at 190 and he ain't anymore. Okay. Okay, we got the whole venue watching this. This could be on the verge of upset, but it looks like Don in his wedding to Mario has the adaption. Oh, uh, okay. I wonder if Clyde would have double jumped there. He, the upper would have connected on. Huh? Yeah, has, it doesn't seem like Clyde Don hasn't been getting too many big combos, but he doesn't really need it. He's just you know, outflowing the neutral, catching him when Clyde's trying to aggressively nair and stuff. He's just plump being chill because he's got the lead, and he's pretty good at these edge guards here. Up smash almost kills. Oh my goodness. Wow, Clive sounded like Scooby-Doo or something asking him what is his band. Oh wow, a hard read on the neutral air dodge and where he's going to land. Oh, Clive busting out the Sora stage while playing Sora? Hold up, this might be an elaborate counter pick. They are making some interesting noises over there. Clive does has like amazing impressions though. What is he saying? Okay, he's going the default Sora. Here we go. Un oh, this is one of his quarterfinals. Whoever gets this winners, top eight, pretty big. Gary Amon Palms actually. Haven't done this in like a month, but nevertheless, um, I reckon I'm not as bad as I thought. Clive does have the read. Forward smash into down smash. Looking like he's being a little more antsy. Down however, he seems to be a stoic man. Just look, look in the player cam. He's, he's almost like a statue. 
I can't really see Dawn's player cam because my giant jug of water is blocking it. But regardless, oh wow, that grab did miss. Oh, fireball versus firefall. Oh, that's two. He misses the attack yet again. He's probably still alive. Yep. Oh. Near F smash. Oh. Oh, okay. Clive takes the first talk. He can't let his nerves get to him. Just be chill. Don't get up smashed and extend this lead. Oh, the Nair doesn't work the way he wanted, and Don sneaks in the up smash. It's back to being dead even. It's gonna be a big upset for Clive here. Hold the phone. Clive, Carl, Weezer, Force. Exactly. I forget what Carl Weezer sounds like. Is that the guy from uh, Jimmy Neutron? Oh, Nair Fair. Oh, Clive don't have a jump. I wonder if that fair hits ledge. That'll be so brutal. Okay. Looks like Don's running away a bit this game, but... You know, Clive with the up air. Mm. Okay. Now's the best time to bust out these insane sword combos. What is that side B? Oh my goodness. Oh, it's dead even. Oh, he does the Thundaga in the wrong way. Oh, wow. Let's go water physics. He does not have a jump. Don's looking for the edge guard. Oh, interesting angle by Clive. And he gets on stage safely. Oh, down top smash almost killed. Oh, Clive's going out there too. Does he have a jump? Is he going to roll? Uh, is... Yeah, damn. Don's really doing good at mixing up his uh, options out of the sea lives and airs. You know, Clive's really banking on these neutral air dodge reads, but Don's not giving him. He's just jumping every time. 140, 136, you boys are living. Oh, that up smash almost hits. The fair isn't going to do it quite yet. Alright. Back air, up air. Oh my goodness. Most of uh, Sea Live's aerials will definitely kill here, but Don sneaks in the down air. Oh, Tomahawk up E. Last stock. Game 3. Alright, Don with the solid lead here. He has that trap, but, um, Clive sneaks through. Oh, hit him with the Mario. Hit him with the Yahoo! Oh, I really hope that fair doesn't hit on ledge. Okay, okay. See Clive getting physically invested in the camera? Okay. It's winding down here. Uh, right? Yep. Should be able to have more time to DI that. Thanks to the kill screen. Reverse up E. He does have a jump. Okay. Didn't know for a sec. All right. If Clive could get this edge guard. Oh, oh I wonder if that would have hit. He would have up beat early. Oh. Clive's looking for it again. The neutral air dodge is coming right down to the wire. Back throw. Okay. Can, can he get this edge guard? He's got the thunder. That's it. Oh, my goodness. Clive upsets Don. To make a winner's top eight. Game three. Would you look at that? Wowie. Damn. The the Kingdom Hearts character on the Kingdom Hearts stage power up, of course. Um Wow. Uh happy holidays. It is the summer, so I can officially wear this sweater my mom got me, so cool. And, uh, yeah, Zoo, Brand, two Vortex peeps going up onto stream, winners quarterfinals again, I believe, and, uh, yeah, I wonder if Zoo's gonna bust out the Terry or the, um, me brawler, I'm not sure, but I did see, I did pass by walking through the steps, and I did see Zoo versus Amer, and he went me brawler, so, hmm. Yup, he's going to me, brawler. Oh, oh, I thought he was going to go to the karate suit. Nah, he's chucking out the business suit. Okay. Hey, nice shine, sir. Here we go. Two Vortex staple players. And anywho, I got to go fight me, sword fighter on station two, so yikes. Anywho, um, later chat and hi, Bruce Wayne. Narcotics and Don is set up three.
Hello gamers, it is another great day at Hog tonight, and uh, it is your man Rock Dude on the mic tonight, first time ever. So, uh, right now we got Zoo versus Bran, two highly contested individuals who are extremely good at this game. One of them uses Me Brawler, and the other uses... From what it looks like, Morton the Koopaling. So this should be an interesting match. Both very offbeat characters. You don't see too much every day. But uh let's see how this shakes out. Right now it's pretty even. Two stocks apiece for both Zoo and Bran. Looking pretty nice right now. Zoo tries to make an approach, but it doesn't work. Morton trying to go for it. Oh! Very nice counter from Zoo there. With the up up attack. Zoo's thinking to himself, what can I do to close this game out? And now Brand's thinking, what can I do to make it close? Come back from this game. Zoo doing a great job and wow! That is it. Wow. What a way to finish. Ooh, the music choice. Very viable option heading into this next game. We'll see if it pays off for him. Piranha plant. Piranha oh. plant. Ran going piranha plant. I don't think I've ever seen a piranha plant in action before. But now we're finally seeing it. Me Brawler versus Piranha Plant heading into game two here in this current best of three. Right now, Zoo off to a very cooked. Manning start, but Brand's gonna follow back. Oh, Zoo countering with the combos. Is it gonna work out for him? Oh no, doesn't work out too well. Brand's gonna find his way back in.
Zoo catches him right at the very last moment. Tries to go for an attack, but it doesn't work out for him. He ends up getting a nice aerial there. And Zoo makes the attack, but it's not enough. Oh! Very nice from Brit Zoo over there. Zoo doing a very nice job with his combo game so far. If there's anything I can give him credit for. Is that his combos are very good as a me brawler. He's trying to camp Piranha Plant out of the stage. But he's going to break through. Brand trying to find an opening, but... Brand is on his last stock right now. It's going to be very interesting to see how it plays out. Zoo doing a very good job, though. Keeping control of the field. And Zoo getting another combo. What's it going to be? Z Zoo doing a very nice job on the ledge. Brand trying to counter. Does a great aerial off stage. Whoa. What a great spike coming out from Brand there. However. Zoo trying to keep him. On the ledge. He's got him on the run. Rain goes for an opening and gets the stock. Good work coming out from Rain. Really nice job there. But is Zoo going to close this game out? Or is this the beginning of a comeback from Rain here? To find out, Brand is sitting dangerously at a 157%, but he's making quick work, getting Zoo up to 68 right out of the gate. But it's not enough, and Zoo takes the second game. 2-0 from Zoo. Very good placement from both players. Very nice job. Don't you think those characters should have more rock moves, rock dude? Listen, Wouldn't man. that be awesome? <laughs> Listen, man. They should have more rock moves. You know, I'm down for, like, rocks in the game, man. Like, that would be pretty cool. That'd but be cool. For sure. You know what? It just wouldn't make sense. I did not get to hear that, but it sounds pretty cool. G Extreme Heinous up next. Ooh, mm -hmm. okay. All right. So we have a Rob versus. I think it's Pikachu. Could be wrong, but we'll see. All right. Heinous is a familiar face here at Hog. He knows what's up. Almost comes. Pretty much every week. G Extreme, though, he attends Vortex very regularly. This, I believe, this is the first time I'm seeing him at Hog. He may have been here before, but this is the first I'm seeing of him. Oh, G Extreme is Roy. I do apologize for that. Oh, 
Oh, he is going Roy. Oh, okay. Gotcha. All right, cool. So Roy versus Rob. Two characters with the same first initial. And also contain a letter O. Uh, you know all about the R-O stuff, you know? <laughs> <laughs> the the R-O. Yeah. It's also R-O, you know? Hell yeah, dude. All right. Let's see this in action. Oh! What is this? Oh! No way. No way. Oh, it's gonna be a close game! No way! And Heinous wins game one! Yeah! Woo! Very nice performance from Heinous. That was very quick. Very nicely done. But, all jokes aside, it's time to get to the real meat and potatoes. All right, we're ready to play. Hello, gamer. Hello, other gamer. It's your boy, Ambatross. Back again with another sick uh, Heinz ketchup combo. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but we got a Heinous and uh, G Extreme. I don't think G Extreme ordinarily plays Roy, does he? Uh, I don't think so. Not from yeah. him, no. Yeah, uh, I mean, I've definitely seen this player around before. Um, I think he kind of like goes all over the place, right? Yeah, uh, he attends Vortex very regularly, yeah. I do know. Oh, okay, okay, so I gotta be uh, uh, updated on that. Uh, Heinous, on the other hand, swears that Rob is the best character in the game. So I don't think he's ever going off that character. <laughs> uh, yeah, super cool matchup here. Uh, I just love watching Roy do literally anything. This character's so cool. Oh, for sure. Roy Rob is a very fun matchup. Yeah, I mean, you're seeing why. It's a lot of high impact, high speed, high velocity. And uh, that gyro coming a little bit in handy uh, on that. Oh, that a G scenario. Extreme gets the stock right away. Just straight up run up and forward smash. Wow. How fast can, how fast can uh, Hades get this one, though? Ooh. Not with stuff like that, though. That may Ooh. have been a misinput. All right. He's figuring a little bit out. He's getting there. Oh. I think overall, though, uh, G Extreme has shown a little bit of a better neutral. Yeah, he's getting the counter uh, mid range. So he's making up for a little bit of the range that he doesn't have, but he is going to get upthrown. Actually, a really good uh, placement from uh, Hainus. I don't know if he did that on purpose. Someone, in, <laughs> someone says Rob is Ite. Oh, it's Toast. That's why. <laughs> Rob is not Ite. He's like, he's like actually top five of the game. Listen, man. If anyone can do Rob justice, it's my boy Heinous. Also, shout out to Will. Why aren't you here? I gotta compensate with you, bro. Oh, oh, okay, the jab back here. Yeah, that's like one of the strongest kill confirms in the game. Uh, G Extreme taking that stock relatively early, I would say. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Roy's obviously no stranger to early stocks, but that was super good. And he's looking for more. Is that gonna be another Nair? Oh. Yes, it is. Okay. G Extreme doing a very job keeping Rob off the stage right now. Yeah. Camping him out. Yeah, using that platform uh, to get a little bit more distance uh, onto that high recovery. Really good awareness from G Extreme, but Hanus is going to take a little bit more of a zoner approach once again. Mid for sense, but only one of them's up a stock. Okay. What are going to do? Oh, that's going to be not a grab. Ooh. Okay. Oh. oh, that's it. That's it. That is so it. Oh, Dang. man. Yeah, you, ha right. you have to take a get this character at mm. any percent because you are either taking 40 or you're just straight up dying. Right. That's how this be. Now, Hog is really stubborn, so they just might run it back. But personally, I think if I were Heinous, I would go with, like, Battlefield. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's a Battlefield's an okay stage for Roy, too. But first of all, for some reason, everyone hates Battlefield. So if you, just, <laughs> if you just pick it, then it'll tilt someone. I don't know why. <laughs> somewhere they will. <laughs> somewhere, somewhere out there. Uh, and secondly, I think um, uh, the horizontal game wasn't really working for him. So that top platform could come in really big handy. Uh, I think he picked small battlefield. Did I say that right? Oh, okay. Okay. So remember when I said that he'd uh, he wouldn't move off a of Rob. So I actually right. lied. He does have this Incineroar. This is a real Incineroar. Oh, yes. Um, we saw it on stream once uh, before. 
I can't remember who it was against. But uh, if you want flashy matchups, this is one of them. I mean, it's just punching you in the face no matter where you're looking on stage. A uh, little bit uh, antsy on those neutral beasts, though. Good side B. Oh, you're not feeling well? Oh, I hope you get better, man. Yeah, a lot of people have been getting sick lately. Uh, put on your mask. Stay indoors. I'm serious, man. Oh, that's Ooh. a kill. Ooh. Ooh, good side B. Nice. Very good play from Heinous over there with his Incineroar. Really well done. Yeah, and that revenge was um, kind of conditioning him to not go as aggressive as before. But uh, with 109%, yeah. It, I mean, it's just so hard to be able to approach uh, Roy when you're at that sort of percent. When you oh, for sure. Because Roy can do very strong hits very easily. As we're and seeing right you now. just got to be careful. Oh, the trump! Just like that. Oh, wow. That was so good. Incredible play from G. I think if he keeps approaching with these nares, particularly with Incineroar's weight, he could get something across super well. I'm not really sure about that down throw personally. Ooh. I'm not exactly a Roy uh, extraordinaire. Extraordinaire. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all these side bees that Haynes is hitting. Ooh, that nair? Okay. So, the good thing about uh, characters with uh, bad recoveries like that is, even if you kind of fail the gimp, you still get free damage. Oh, but you oh. are not getting back to stage for free, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> that really clean back air. Still, it's not an 89, I think, right? Uh, that's probably an air up stage. Ooh. Oh. Okay, you saw that coming. You saw that coming. Get up attack. We're seeing G Extreme going a little bit more patient. Uh, respect to the Incineroar, but 52% at ledge. Oh! Oh, that was so smart. That hits was so a smart. great hit. Oh! Oh, what was the that? side B? Oh! Oh! <laughs> the early side B. Okay, no heinous. Oh my God, that was that was one of the most unique in Center Rock I've seen in a, in a long time. You know what? Somewhere in the world right now, 6 a.m., it has the biggest grin on his face. We gotta show that clip to them at some point. <laughs> oh, he gets the tech read. So yeah, at 51%, honestly, against either of these characters, it's at dire straits. Good F tilt to get out of ledge to avoid the side B. Oof. Tries oh, to tries to board. go for a read, but doesn't hit it. But the side B. I think G Extreme is kind of showing his nervousness right there with those forward smashes, and I think Hanus is going to eat that up. Not going to get yeah, that side B, so though. That, no, that back air is not going to seal it either. Oh, G Extreme keeping it oh, on the stage. Oh, that, but is that, that, that it? it? That's yeah, game. That's it. that's it. Punishing off of that really Damn. poor recovery. And oh, that, wow. for a little bit, felt like a steal, but G Extreme was kind of in the lead for the whole game. Anus did put up a fight, though. I mean, you saw, like, the little, um, I forget what it's called, but uh, the side bees that he did. Yeah. yeah. I, just really them, I just call them side bees, honestly, because like, <laughs> I think of Incineroar and I'm like, oh, God, I hate side B. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, you know, um, he's shown right there why Incineroar is going up in the tier list. Like, oh, you have yeah. Sky J, you have someone else, I'm sure, uh, <laughs> who just really shows how much damage that Incineroar can get off of, like, one hit. If I were Hanus, I would probably do a lot more down tilts. Right. I know it's hard to do that against Roy. Green guy, it's left his face. Okay. So there's a lot of green guy simps in the chat. Uh, a lot of fans of C Live as well. But uh, green guy, definitely a popular guy in this chat. Uh, really insane Terry. Uh, it's got some of the craziest confirms ever, even without Go Meter, honestly. Um, but C Live, it's kind of. I, I feel like people are a bit confused as, as to who he plays because I've seen I, I've seen uh, Sora mostly. Right. But I feel like I've seen like a whole bunch of other characters, so I'm not really... He did used to play Lucas as well. Yeah, he definitely played Lucas. I, I do remember that. I just wasn't sure if I was mixing him up with um with someone else. Who was it? There's another really good Lucas here. K3H? Yeah, I, it started with a K. Okay. It was like an acronym. Gotcha, yeah. What does K3H stand for? Uh, I know K stands for Kendrick, which is his first name. Cool. Um, I don't know what the 3 stands for, but the K and H is basically his first and last name. Cool. So whether 3 is his favorite number, whether it's significant to him, I don't know. But well, You know what it is? We got 2 out of 3, but the denominator is a 3. Ooh. Ooh. I am literally Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> 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 if you're watching this, I'm sorry. Uh, cool cat. I wish I read that during the game. I love Cool Cat. Cool Cat is my favorite. Cool Cat is the goat. <laughs> cool Cat stops bullying by taking a lightsaber to school. 
Dude. And just like saying no. And it just immediately ends in every school. And everyone is safe for the rest of the year. That was hype. <laughs> <laughs> that was hype. You guys didn't say that, but that was hype. Green guy uh, coming out of the bathroom, just like clapping his hands. I have no idea what that meant, but I just mean it. Oh, happy holidays? We got the happy holidays shirt? We got the Christmas spirit up at Hog. I literally, I walked into this tournament with him, like right by my side, and I still didn't see that. <laughs> 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 You're a friend, C-Live. We're your friends. Holidays, that's what I'm saying. Can we get the holidays in the chat, bro? Yeah. Yeah, we need holidays in the chat. Wow, what do you think their first pick is going to be? Hmm, they're really just signing on it right now. I don't know if they just played uh, Rock, Paper, Scissors. I don't think they did. Uh, they're thinking about it. They're making a decision. I mean, it's hog. This is going to be PS2. Oh. But we got a music choice. What's it music, gonna be? <laughs> music choices in this venue are so funny because I can never hear it. Yeah. I know that it powers you up. I, I, I know that it has that passive, but the reason why I don't pick it is because I'm not gonna hear it. Yeah, I'm just focused on the game. Yeah, like, I'm personally too focused on what option you're gonna pick next. <laughs> okay, so we do see the Sora, we do see the Terry. Yeah, pretty much everything goes ex as expected. Oh, come on, see live. Let's go see live. We get the see live. In the chat. Sea Live fans in the chat. Sea Live hype. Sea <laughs> Live really pick thinking about which sword to play. It's an important uh, decision. Color yeah. is everything. Yeah. It was like a meme last time that I was seeing a lot of red green matchups, and <laughs> <laughs> that may have been the the intention there. Merry Christmas, everyone. Yeah, so Green Guy obviously has the... Uh, <laughs> starting off with the toss. Uh, so Green Guy has the advantage on the stage because I can't see his character anymore. He's the same color. And uh, that'll make his approaches, uh, in theory, a lot better if you are uh, distracted by the lovely timer. But uh, c Live going to go in with those noops. Ooh. Going to get crashed dude instead. Very strong. <laughs> the happy holidays. Oh, sweater is setting me. I love Xmas. Oh, that's what it is. Oh, you okay. see the, the. I always forget the name. The uh, the side B onto the shield. Okay, whatever. He gets the kill. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, green guy doing what he does best. Uh, getting those really early kills off of Terry. Um, I I think the only problem with this matchup is just you're not always gonna hit those down tilts when Sora is flying all over the place. Um, and especially when it comes to landing, I just feel like Sora has so many of the options. What on earth was that? Hitbox. Oh wow! Oh wow! Wow. Sea Live, Sea Live, showing why you can't air dodge against this character. <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying before? Uh, I was gonna say Sea Live is uh, making a really um, interesting uh, attempt here to try to get um, Green Guy out of here. And oh, was that almost, like frame perfect? Almost a kill, oh, but the there it is. You can wow. do that. I totally forgot. Yeah, you can counter. So that actually messes up a lot of Terry's uh, mix-up options back to stage because all of them are hitboxes. Oh, okay. Yeah. I and so if you keep that. spamming that, even if he gets back to stage, that's still damage. Oh, that Wait could have been deadly. Oh. See, I'm looking really comfy in this neutral so far. In a little bit of They're space trying to find that. an opening. Terry. Yeah, unfortunately, Blizzaga's not the most useful. Shout out to H2O. We just got it from uh, your boy Artie behind the curtain. The goat Artie hooking us up. Thank you, Artie. Appreciate it. You know what's OP? This is the second water I've gotten today. <laughs> you know what? I need to drink more water. Stay Ooh, the hydrated, noobs? folks. He wanted that up smash. Either that or he wanted that read. Yeah. I can tell he was ready for something. Uh, but Green Guy, once again, creeping back to this game. Uh, really uh, even percents, actually. Shockingly even percents. <laughs> okay, going in with the back air. Okay, yeah, Ooh, that field of the fire. There it is. Really nice. Uh, C Live getting a little bit too aggressive going back to stage. And that's just what happens against Terry. Like, you get jabbed once, you are dead. Mm. You get go metered once. Oh, I don't know if that was supposed to be Burn Knuckle. I finally remember the name of that. Uh, the, okay, yeah, oh, that's really, really oh. bad. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> 77%, he could just straight up go in and Buster Wolf and just, like, end the whole thing. Okay, he wanted that down tilt. Green on guy gets a little oh, close, no. and is oh, that no. it? Oh, no. oh yeah, that, was... that is it. Wow. Oh, yeah, the second I saw that jab land, I was like, okay. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't mean for that to sink. <laughs> Bruh. Okay. Okay. I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> uh. So, if Sea Lab's got to choose the next stage, what what would I pick? What would I pick? Next game. <laughs> next That's game. what I said. Oh my god! Oh my oh! god! No! No! No way! No way! No way! What was that? The sweatshirt comes off. The switch up! No way! He going oh snap on him! <laughs> okay, it was real before, but now it's really it's really real. real. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like double, triple, decker, uh, quadruple real. Do the math on that. I'm sure you can figure out something. And I think was that an FD pick? No, it was a small battlefield Ooh, pick. Ooh, all right. Let's see it. Let's see if C Lab can do anything against Greener Guy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what he can do here. Oh, one of the noobs. Air dodge okay, away. all right, all right. Getting a little bit of momentum here at the very start. Really well placed forward air. Uh, missing out on that fair three. Oh. Yeah. At the end of the day, Sora is still a wall to go through when you oh, want to get any sure. approach. But that's honestly how he does it. He's just able to shield uh, these unsafe approach options like the dash attack. And now you're at another edge guarding scenario. I think he's, I think he was trying to bait out Thundaga there. Mm. Yeah, and there it comes out. Okay, so good patience off of uh, C Live. What? Okay. Wow. Okay. Okay, he was he that's was ready for hit. that. Oh, and that's gonna be another kill. Oh, yeah. Uh, all right. That's there good. it is. Good stuff from Green Guy. Uh, C Live got to be a little bit more careful, a little less greedy with his next approach options. 116%, you can definitely get this kill. I really like that back here, but it's going to get air down. Oh, oh. It, that was so, so risky. A very attempt, and it's, good attempt, but doesn't work out. With Go Meter online, every single... Yeah, this is exactly the position that C Live doesn't want to be in. It's when you go back to neutral. It's when you have any single possibility oh, of that happening. There it is. Buster Wolf back to stage. Putting Sora at 65%. Oh, he wanted that down tilt oh. so bad. The okay. dash stack. All right. Oh, trying to fake him out. Uh, doesn't oh, that, get him, though, at the that edge. That needed to be a back throw. Okay, but that Blizzaga is hopefully going to give me the kill, and that up is not quite going to do it. 192% It still can't steal out the stock. Green guy keeping this three-stock game oh, alive. He, he crash shoots over the fire. I almost called it the Faraga. Is that the real name? Oh, so much shield pressure, 100%. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's not going to go anywhere near that platform. Oh. The power dunk on the platform is going to take wow. the second stock green guy right. showing insane tenacity. Oh, he's okay. not afraid. He's not All afraid. Right. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Well, okay, C Live. Back to playing the spacing game a little bit. Getting a little bit harder to uh, finally read out green guy. Nice up air. Okay, all right. Ooh, all yeah, right. it's it's these dash attacks that are always getting punished. Oh, the wait out on the counter, too. Yeah. Getting close to Terry is a little bit of a risk because no matter what he could do, he could get powerful hits just like that. And then it's like you're scrambling to try to find some way to counter that. I Very thought that was going to be to the side B. Green guy does that a lot. He'll just like wait on ledge and side B at the last possible moment. Is that going to be an up smash? Oh, no. no. And I think that may have been a miss input because I didn't see that landing whatsoever. Okay, okay. good wait. Oh, he's trying. Oh, oh up wow. Oh, he should have held down. Yeah. He should have held down. Then it would have been so much better than Thundalgo's going to create a oh, little bit of space. Minute, but wait a minute. Is gonna... that it? That is it. Yeah, not going to do anything against the up B. And that is game two. Oh, okay. Actually, uh, best of five. Oh, snap. That. Oh, snap. Wait, no, it's not a best of five. Because they're leaving. <laughs> Wait, what? Are they leaving? Wait. <laughs> what is what is going on? Oh, oh. Wait a minute. 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 It's, minute. it's being blocked by the game. We got another. Oh, we got oh another it's 12. on now. <laughs> we got it another is 12. on now. 
<laughs> the sweatshirts are off, and it is time to play. Okay, okay. All we got, right. We got the Capcom shirt against the O-Snap. Represent, represent. He's like, I'm going to bring Marvel vs. Capcom at you and snap all your limbs. <laughs> <laughs> Back to small battlefield, but we will, will we see a character switch? That you is the question. Out. No, we're not. Nope. He's just he's just completely locked into that pick. Good on him. Well, hopefully he gets a little bit more uh, downloaded on that matchup. That seems like a very specific uh, set of circumstances. Like I said before, that uh, Sora is a wall to get through, but Green Guy. I don't know if Green Guy is just like super super good, or this is just how the matchup goes. But on the Terry, just always seems to find a hit in between what Sora is trying to do. Um, and that's just got to be so obnoxious to actually get through. Okay, but 46%. All right. All racking, right. racking up a pretty good start so far. What would you say? Yeah, I'd say that is the case. Green um, C Live is doing a very good job of trying to um, wall him out. Learning his mistakes from the last two games and thinking, what can I do to try to counteract Green Guy's Terry? Are you on Team O Snap or Capcom? Can we get a poll on that? <laughs> <laughs> Artie, can we get that in the chat? Team O Snap or Team Capcom? Yeah, that'd be awesome. What side are you on? <laughs> it's over. You didn't take the first off of Terry. What up, <laughs> Moat? I don't know how long you've been in chat, but that's true. Hopefully we can get something off of this Masaga. Okay, not quite. Uh, if, it, if there is one thing that it does well in this matchup, it's uh, if you know that Terry is going to approach with, like, Nair or something, you can freeze him right in his tracks. Or he can just create a bunch of space like that. Oh, absolutely. Ooh, I like 100%. what Green Guy was going for there, but Sea Life was ready for it. Definitely playing a lot more safer uh, with this stock. Okay, getting. Yeah, I think that's what he really wants. He wants the fire to like figure out how to get the skill. Go meter online Ooh. and Thunder almost hits. Gonna get the backer instead, and we might see a counter. Oh. No, he just. Okay, just wow. backer. Okay, I totally thought he was going to double jump counter, but instead, just goes for the backer. Great read coming out from C-Live there to take Terry's first stock. And now, I think for the first time, C-Live is in the lead. Yeah, I think so. I think uh, something about taking off that sweater really got to him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that oh, was such a good roll! And that great guy doesn't know! Oh, no. No, that oh, was such... not the such oh. an unfortunate SD. Unfortunate day for Team O Snap, if that's what you voted for. <laughs> uh, maybe a little less uh, unfortunate if Green Guy can actually. Oh, oh! And he actually air dodges out. Okay, all right. I think C Live is figuring out this character a little bit. You know, okay. just like one little move at a time. And he's still going for more. He's just racking up this percent, saying super, super patient with every single hit. But unfortunately, he's going to roll past that fire, and the three All stock right. has been denied for game three. All right. You know, Green Guy's got a little bit of mountain to climb, but, you know, if there's anything about Green Guy, it's that he's very well under pressure. So we'll see what he does with this heading into this final few minutes here. He got a lot of combos there. He's getting a little bit of momentum. See that falling up air onto the platform? That was nuts. Oh, oh. almost hit the up right. I think Sora's okay. I think Sora's a little bit shook right now. All right. Oh, okay, oh. okay. I think that was going for the roll read, but he's going to take that fire to dash attack. Oh, oh that's it. Yeah, that's that it. That is it. Yeah. Super, super nice bazaar got there. And see live got a point on the board now. And I, I'm seeing a lot of uh, knowledge at play like you could really see the gears turning in C Live's head as he was playing through that game and game four made green guy sweat a little bit mm. we're gonna go to town and city instead this stage is absolutely deadly for terry there are so many combos that just kill at like one percent off the top it's not actually one percent but you know what i mean absolutely nothing kills at one percent <laughs> no one's ever like yo i got a one to death <laughs> <laughs> No way! <laughs> it's like, you kind of tried, but you didn't do it all the way. You you did like one fox laser. <laughs> oh, running into the up tilt. Okay. Now, actually, I'm not keen on what Sora can actually do on Town and City. Uh, 
but he's not going for a lot of juggles in general, so it just seems like this is a this is an inherent buff towards Terry. And that's why it's such a good pick. Gonna get that grab. What's next? A down tilt. Yeah, I had a oh, feeling it was yeah. down tilt pressure, and I think Sea Live is a little bit used to that too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh. oh, wow. Okay. I am surprised that that didn't sweet spot because that would have been absolutely catastrophic. But with the go meter online, uh, honestly, these percents are looking a little bit even. Doesn't commit on the nair too hard. Oh, he manages what? to get that at the last second. Right on the tip of the Blizzaga. And he's not oh. letting him have any of that. That upbeat out of shield. He's not down just yet. Oh. Okay. Good delay on the up B. Okay. Probably seeing that counter coming. Oh. Oh, okay. oh is that? Okay. It's a somewhat free punish there. I'd say that was like a, a B minus in, uh, in the field of free punishes. But yeah, going to jump is straight gonna out kill. of that Blizzaga, and that's going to take off that first stock. See, Live needs to do something very quickly in order to even up this percent, and that's going to be it. Nope. Not quite. Not just yet, but oh, that'll okay. do it. Nice, nice. The dog is such a scary edge guarding uh, tool for exactly that reason. Oh, almost got the new. Very close. Oh, wow. A lot of back and forth coming from both players here with these hits. And that's got to be so hard for Sea Live to hit because if he if he cancels like at least one of those jabs or one of those aerials, you know that he's getting punished huge in this matchup. Oh, for sure. Oh, that was an interesting hitbox there. It, like hit behind him. Yeah. Okay, there's another combo. Sea Live's figuring a little bit out here. Just trying to do some damage. Oh. Oh, that could have been a forward smash, honestly. If he was ready for that, the Thundaga gonna put the go Did meter the back kill? on line. Could we? Oh. oh no! He went for that. He went for that so hard. An attempt was made. And you know, with that shield down really, really uh, low, I could actually see C Live playing from across Ooh. the stage at okay. this point. Good defense there. Almost get all three of those uh, Thunderheads. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> wow! You saw right. that neutral get our cover from a mile away. Oh. Not gonna go for anything too greedy on the platform. I like that. Look at this patience. Patience on the burn knuckle too, and he gets the fire into the forward air combo. Yeah. <laughs> it's over, Green Guys one. It's okay. Stop the steal! Stop the steal! I shouldn't say that. <laughs> uh, all right. Green Guy was able yeah. to figure it out. He's now both players down to their last stock heading into this game four matchup. Let's see if Green Guy can maybe try to figure something out. Maybe try to. He's going to try to steal this. Oh, for sure. I mean, I can see it in his eyes. He's oh. going to try to get every single... Uh, he really wants that hit. comeback. Is that going to be enough? That, He's got him on the run. That power wave was so crucial because if he makes a single wrong move, he could actually oh. die. But instead, he runs in with the Blizzaga and then gets the fully charged up smash instead. Wow. Wow. <laughs> and Moat just... <laughs> Moat spam in the chat. He wants Greg Guy to win so badly. He doesn't want to see this first three out. <laughs> All right. He should have pulled out the plant. <laughs> Both guys' sweatshirts are off. It is tied up 2-2, and we are heading to this final game in this set right which, here. Which is really interesting because that means C Live did not ban this stage. Mm. Interesting. So that means two other stages are worse than this. I can't imagine what those are. Maybe Smashville Hollow Bastion? We will never know. Almost got the noops. Good side B. I think he's reading a little bit of the uh, the power waves now. Ooh, okay. Is able to get the read on him. That could be really hard to land. Nope, gonna do that just fine. Oof. Okay. I think he's waiting out for a lot of these approach options mainly. Okay, he doesn't get hit by the forward smash. That could have been absolutely awful. I think C Live's just looking for the perfect hit on this next one because you know he needs to be off stage as soon as he gets the O meter, but he might not even need that 
Uh, this is basically one burn knuckle away from actually being the stock. And we'll Ooh. see. Ooh. I almost yeah, used yeah. that platform. We got air drift. We got air drift. That's all right. Oh, okay, yeah, that's what he was looking for. And he was looking for that read as well. I was actually looking for... I, I was I was thinking he was going to forward smash instead. Oh, that could be another really big punish, but not quite getting it him on the survive. mash. Go meter is live, so we're going to see... Oh! All right. Good thunder placement from C Live there. Nice timing. I think he's got he's got a lot of these power waves downloaded in that up out of shield. The first time we see that all set's going to take out that one stock. How to really save aerials. And Green Guy tries to go for that power dunk read that he got a lot of times in game two, but not looking so hot in game five. Yeah, he goes for another one, and I think C Live just knows when exactly this is going to happen. He's punishing really hard off of Green Guy's aggressiveness. Yeah, he's learning from these last two games that he played. He's trying to figure it out. Moat so swears that Green Guy has a download. He believes. Well, that download's got to come in handy pretty soon. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Yeah, so the Blizzaga in the opposite direction is unfortunately going to seal that stock for him. And Green Guy could always turn this around. Very true. It is not over yet. Until the game symbol appears. <laughs> Terry fans, why so quiet? <laughs> Love that narrow the fire. It's using the counter very sparingly because at the end of the day, if he's recovering high, it's still a really uh, risky move to use. Okay. Oh, almost Ooh. gets the upbeat, but lands for free anyway. The, gonna punish out with a back air. Man, I'm just, I'm just not predicting any one of these uh, edge guarding situations from C Live. Yeah, he doesn't want him anywhere near him. <laughs> He's like, no, go away. Oh, oh, oh. oh, the read. Okay, into the dash attack. And that thunder's not quite gonna hit. Counter's a little off. I think he was looking for a burn knuckle there. Instead, he's going to take this knuckle, and that's going to be another power dunk. I think, uh, I'm not sure if this is patience or just confusion here. I mean, like, Sea Live's really struggling to take off the stock, but he's had the lead for, I mean, the past three games Ooh. here, and that might actually get spell it? out. Ooh. Not going to be enough, though. But Green Guy is setting at 180%. Oh, okay. He's so close. He's so yeah. close in all these times. But uh, I, I gotta give it to Green Guy. I mean, he's just surviving for so, so long here. This could be the turnaround that he actually needs if he actually gets the hit that he wants. He's looking for a Nair. Something's gotta give. Oh, oh that could have been it. That could have been it if he just like, oh, rolled forward. Oh, another really that? bad situation from Green Guy. Oh, sitting at 202%. Oh, <laughs> but he gets the hit. The power geyser. And green guy has taken the lead. Oh, and he jumps out of the grab just in time. This has got to be so frustrating All right. to see live. Okay, but the fair three finally going to take out that stock. Even stocks, even percents. Last and game. Here it is. With the lead this whole time. Now kind of needs to dry off the sweat in his boots. Figure out something to do with the neutral. Okay. Looking for a couple of these key hits. Oh. Oh, that was so much damage. This is so much. This is so big. And with that, Ooh. with him at 85% above C him... C-Live's got Green Guy on the run. You see him taking this much damage, and at this point, C-Live just needs to make sure that he doesn't get back into a safe place in neutral. Not in this position. And Green Guy's thinking, near. I gotta get back in this. Yeah, that was a really good side B. He Ooh. was. You definitely know he was saving that option. 145%. Gonna be really, really hard to actually get back to is stage, that and that could be really Ooh. bad if Green Guy doesn't... Is he surviving? Wow. And that's the game! And C Live wow. gets the reverse 3 0 after so much reading. <laughs> that man read a whole library and came back and he yeah. he deserved I uh, he deserved that win. I know that there's a lot of Green Guy fans in chat. Unfortunately, you gotta hand it to C Live. That Sora was dope. Very true. That was crazy. Good respect from both players though. Very intense set. Right. You know that Capcom shirt. That gave Celi power. Sora, of course, the best Cap Capcom character.
<laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to take a break. It was very nice commentating with you, Mr. Ambitross, and I uh, hope to do this again sometime. Alright, dope. See All you right. later, man. Thank you. And that was Rock Dude. How we doing in the chat? Want to see you guys hype for the next set. I don't really know what it is because I don't check the bracket, but you know what? Whoever comes up, you just know it's going to be good because it's we're getting that over to uh, either the last part of winter semis or like winter's finals. Just something really, really high up there. Uh, you know, we still got Dawn on the set. We got... Uh... Who's our... <laughs> this is why I need to look at the set. Oh, yeah, we had Zoo earlier and he, he was on the Mii Brawler. And that's just so scary, man. That's got to be the scariest set. <laughs> the Capcom shirt was so fresh, though. I got, like... I'm going to zip this jacket. I have, like, a boring shirt. It's, like, blue. <laughs> you know what I got to do? I got to come to this next venue in, like, a full-out Link costume. And then just play Roy the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> and then go on set and just pretend that nothing ever happened. It would still be hype. Like, you guys would think it was hype. I don't know about me, though. Wait, I had to put my phone away. I'm at work. Who won? Uh, C-Live got the reverse 3-0. And it was crazy. It was crazy. You guys should watch the VOD afterwards if you're a sore main. Um, because the things that C-Live were doing, was doing, was not just reading the character. It was reading the whole player. Oh, hey, what up? Hello, everybody. It is I, the Green Surprise, once again. This is the greenest guy I've ever seen. Like, bro. You sure just dropped, yeah. That was hype. Uh, yeah. That was hype. I popped off, and then, like, the little thing in my brain also popped off. Which is why I'm on commentary. Which is why I'm good at this. Yeah, I'm not that mad. I'm just I'm yeah. happy I made winners top eight. I was very surprised I beat Hindsight. You know, I felt... Oh, you beat I was, Yeah, I beat Hindsight for top eight. That was off stream. I was playing very shaky versus Ashen, and I still won. Uh, can, you but, put that, you know, can you put that down there, just because I can't reach I that? I felt very nice. Yeah, thank you. I felt, you know, pretty good, playing decent, mentally composed versus hindsight. I'm like, okay, just learn what me sword fighter is, get him the last stock, whatever. You know, game one, he, he wins, game two, I win, and then game three, I think it was a three stock, thanks to Ghost, so that's pretty fun. Yeah, I'm fine with uh, that Clive, whatever, McGever, because I made wins top eight, so, yay. And I don't have to, f I got, I... I fight losers. I fight heinous and lose this quarterfinals. So, if you any of y'all want to check my record for him, I've only lost him once in like the year and a half I've been a hog. So, <laughs> watch me lose again. But yeah, anywho, well, all I'm gonna say about that Clive set is game four when he was on the ledge, last stock to the right. I knew he was gonna. He would always blitz Saga. He he would Thundaga to recover to cover him going back to ledge. I knew he was gonna come back, and then I knew he was gonna blitz Saga. When he would he would jump Lazaga. Rob, remember the first three, the first two games I was covering that really well, and then uh, the game four, you know I knew he was gonna do it, so I stand back. I'm like, wait, he's probably not gonna do it, and then I stand close, and then it it just clips me and I die. So whatever. Anywho, we got G Extreme and Zoo PR versus old PR, and yeah. What's the old PR? Yeah, I just, I used to look on Facebook for tournaments, and he used to be like seventh or sixth on the old PR pre quarantine with my man Terrence. So, yeah, that's G pretty Extreme epic. Still rocking the Roy. Uh, Bruce Wayne. Okay. Oh, okay, I think G Extreme. He played a bit of Greninja like last month. G, didn't G he? Extreme. He did. I don't know. I I think so. I think G, G Extreme plays a ton of characters. We got the coat coming off already, okay? I don't know if I'm ready for this. <laughs> I love Batman. Right. So. We are seeing so many shirts come off. This is the manliest set I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, I've mainly just seen G-Extreme play Pika and Steve, but I'm surprised he's going the the Roy here. Maybe just oh, feels very confident for Zoo. You know, Zoo just went. Terry, like, the last week, I'm pretty sure, I wasn't at. And uh, now he's back with the meat brawler, so what's going on there? Well, you can expect we're going to see a lot of close-range... Uh, reads a lot of command grabs apparently zoo's rocking that sort of me brawler uh both of these are incredibly good players i can't really like put them on like a match of scales oh shoot batman yeah batman's in this game bro 
Yeah. Look at him. Zoo did name as me Bruce Wayne, and he has to tag Batman. So oh, the jab at the back there. Feeling a bit clickbaited by the actual me he made. But uh, regardless, G String takes the first stock with Roy somehow. I did not expect this Roy to, you know, be very good for Zoo. I'll be honest, but it's proving me wrong right now. I think Roy has a lot of mobility that uh, will do well in this matchup, if only because uh, me Brawler has to land with a lot of nares, and Roy. Uh, loves that because you get right in the sweet spot range and as long as you're able to like keep up your fundamentals There's just so many things that you can actually do on stage. You can already see he's at 72% and That's when Roy gets super scary because he gets Jared back air. He gets reading uh, forward smash. He gets side B There's just so much that this character can actually do uh, Once they get you in that kind of danger zone Good parry but unfortunately not going to follow up with the up smash and that F tilt, that oh, F tilt, I totally forgot tilt, about the like F tilt. 90 at ledge, sweet spot baby. Speaking Jeez. of 90, this character has 90 kill moves. Parry up smash, but he's, <laughs> but gee, the Roy's too fast, tech chase up smash, and with the Don combo. Okay, I love that tech chase. I love that tech chase so much. And you know what, Zoo, uh, I've seen him steal a ton of games in the past, so I can't count him out whatsoever. It's, especially oh, when crazy things happen on. in game one. Oh. Okay, oh, up What's going on? Uh, he does have the thrust overcut. Okay. But still, 72% on the board on just that stock alone. And he's still going for it. Yeah, he's still trying just, to get these tech raids. Yeah, I realize really, me, Brawler, really does have the ghetto ding dong huh? just Especially on the platform, just bye bye. Shock put edge guard. Nair oh, trade. the Nair doesn't edge have guard. Jump and barely doesn't make it. Zoom made Zoom even up the stock real quick. This is what I'm saying with this player. For some reason, he just. Something. Hit, someone just something just like turns on in his head anytime that he's losing, that and he just like turns it around stock wise <laughs> at the drop of a hat. Uh, okay. Yeah, you really just like can't even tell <gasps> who's in the lead at this point. Okay. You know that Zoo has the momentum. Oh, he on wanted earth that, was down, that? Air. down You throw down air, looking like it's in the holded the shield. Seventy-nine percent. Oh, this <gasps> is so scary. The upbeat. Oh, oh, okay. That, that almost it's, killed us. Pretty up. much dead even right now, but Roy definitely does have more pill, kill power. He probably could have up smashed that parry. He could have, but instead it was up to. Tower spot? Oh, G Extreme Ooh. goes out there. Okay, takes, yes. Takes game one. G Extreme says, you know what? I'm not getting robbed today. I'm going to take this game and I'm going to run. But you know what? That's why game two is so, so important because game two shows how much either player has downloaded each other. Crazy things happen in game two. True. There, yeah. there are times where you will eke out a win in game one and just get absolutely ran over in game two. It yeah. happens all the time. And that is kind of what I'm afraid of for uh, G Extreme because Zoo was really figuring that out. Yeah, yeah game the end of that two game. is really where the the pro players really shine because, you know, they, they have their time to adapt. They've been doing this for a long time. Zoo, he seems like a boomer. He's, I think he's been playing the Smash 4. <laughs> he, I, I, mean that, I mean that's a compliment, you know. He was ranked, you know, ranked <laughs> PR in Ultimate before before quarantine. So, you know, he's been playing a long time, and he definitely he's definitely been in this scenario multiple times. I don't know how many times you could say that uh, you've been to this matchup, though. See, this that's the matchup? problem. I mean, probably, because Roy was probably more common pre-COVID. Overall, G Extreme seems prepared for this character, I would say. What oh, up with the, no, oh, that's no, SD. no, no, yeah, he, he really shouldn't have done that. Um, I was about to call him with the Roy. Yeah, super unfortunate SD there. Got a little bit lost in the sauce. G, that happens to all of us. G Extreme used to edge guard with Pikachu. Not you're playing a human character with an actual bad recovery. Oh, oh shoot! Okay. Share to up smash what? I said ah, Jer, I'm sorry. Jer. I'm sorry. Hold the phone. That's I'm sorry to everyone in this chat. I'm sorry to God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm sorry to like one person in Zambia. I don't know why. Person is aiming. What was that match? Whoa. Okay, dash chance is in there. Uh, Zoo's probably looking for like a landing air, get a grab, but you know, G Extreme really just swing the sword, keep him out. Uh, yeah, I'm seeing G Extreme oh, go with, with a Mario? lot of okay. really aggressive approaches, just showing Zoo that he has no fear whatsoever. With a grab, too, yeah. You're seeing a lot of those in your face plays. Okay. As he just like tries to maintain center stage with this character. Okay, the reversal might be kind of bad though. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about this. Yeah, <laughs> I kind of thought that Zoo had something planned there. Okay. Yeah, things a little too well set up. Zoo has a lead right now. Good command grab. When he gets that air dodge call out. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. my goodness. I just heard the, the <laughs> me brawler voice. That sounds hilarious. It sounds better than the uh, than the high pest one, which just makes me want to leave the venue. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely more cooler. Oh, and that air dodge! Pitch. That is so sad. I there, hate, could, I hate when that happens. there could not have been a more perfect cannonball. Or actually, no. Pretty good shot, but uh, a... he had the air dodge or counter, but you know, it was just a frame trap, and he still died whether he air dodge. So, kind of a checkmate situation there. Sometimes, sometimes that just happens. Uh, I, I think I should have directional air dodge to the left. Times, just to make sure. I use the same points for my Palpatine me. <laughs> you have a Palpatine me? Palpatine me. Somehow the Palpatine returns. Star Wars with the head. I've watched all the Star Wars movies and I still need refresh. Anyway. What do you think of the uh, 789 movie? 789? No, 789. Like uh, The Force Awakens. The Force? Oh, the... Yeah. The prequels, then the, there's the normal, then the sequels, as I, yeah, yeah. as I hear about them. Well, you know, I thought the first one was good, the second one was meh, and then the third one, just out of nowhere, oh, Palpatine returns, I'm just like, what the hell? <laughs> or the so, third one was kind of... The third one, <laughs> just like, out of nowhere, just it's, clearly it... no build-up, all the stuff from the past. Definitely the, the movie of all of time. There. The side B is a spin from when he fights Space Windu. I love so, that. Oh, yeah, okay. Anyway, the ghetto flip kick right to center stage. G Stream really seems like he's going out there for that charge. He used to pick Chu. Bazoo's uh, doing pretty good, makes out of his cover. He's, hasn't been killed off stage yet so far for the past two games, I think. Oh, but oh the shield pressure, goodness. and that's and that's why he ran up with the forward smash, because his shield was getting really low and he found one opening, but unfortunately he is going to take that up B, and, and that up bear, up B. immediately evens up every single thing else, and Zoo trying to look a little bit more dominant Stop. in this neutral, that command grab, getting even more percent. Okay, oh, that's okay. a really bad oh, up B! No SD there, I thought both of them would SD for a sec, oh my god. And it's over in a second. Okay. Like a new visit. Well, landing up air, but he misses the up B. G Extreme's opening. What's he gonna get? For the up air again. I don't okay. think he has a jump. Shock put snipe. Ooh. Yes, sir. Is that what it's called? Shock put? Yep. Okay. Uh, I keep calling it a cannonball. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I just got that in the. Does oh, that have finger hold? So. Oh, that's what they use in the Olympics. Ah, the shock put throw thing. I believe. I never watched Olympics. Oh my god, oh, Zeus cooking right no now? Way. And that was basically a last second air dodge. That was oh, like a kicker. that was like a no, I'm not dealing with this yeah, anymore. Air dodge. Just managed, he managed air dodge out of the way right there, or else he would have been Twitter clipped. <laughs> Low profiling filing a lot of these uh nares as well. Good to see that from G Extreme. Jabs at the ledge. But he's still having a really hard time doing Roy stuff. Figuring out how okay. to get that kill. How's G Stream gonna get in here? Messes up, messes up the Jair. Mm, okay, yeah, not gonna get another one of those forward smash reads. I think Zeus in his head. Zeus and you know what? Really I think he's gonna take this game very, very oh. soon. See, it's I, dead. Oh. Man. I thought for sure he'd get that first up smash, but the second one, that's an easy one. Yeah, sub one was definitely. They were even in percent right there, but then Zoo had a full stock lead, so <laughs> you know, just like just like I said, the adaption from Zoo looking pretty bien. And I reckon G-Extreme is going to switch. What do you think? Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, look at that. All right, well, he's bringing out the block. I, I just, menace. I don't get an opinion. He just switches. <laughs> he just did it right away. He didn't let you. That's a great idea. Back to PS2. <laughs> right back to PS2. You know, this stage is actually pretty good for Steve, because I'm a nerd, and I researched all the mining stats, so he just gets iron and stone, and that's pretty epic for Steve. So, you know, this is the one time... First, any character in my life where I don't gentleman for to PS2 and ban it. Would I advise that? I don't know. Uh, so I'm not really keen on commentating Steve. Uh, I just know that every single second of our existence, uh, Steve Mays are figuring out more and more about this character. Is and probably true. it's pr basically that against matchup and experience. What on earth was that low profile? Um. Okay, he's got the diamond online. Okay. Oh no, up smash, what was that? Yeah, he just went to the up tilt and does something- What? Up B the jab, G tree build different. Maybe this is the most weirdest, un intentional this, stuff ever. This is he's just, gonna this attack? Is oh, the block justice abuse. Okay, up smash from Zoo will kill here, baits out the bear, pig axe from G-Extreme. 
I think that there is something to say about contesting Steve uh, at the corner of the map where the crafting table is not, because he still needs to put in an, an action to actually put that in, and Steve mates just don't want to do that. They want to mine all day long, uh, and this is what happens, 150%. Oh, that's probably it. Oh! The air oh, the minecart! Minecart is the best move of the game. I can't believe that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Lord. my God. And that out smash. Okay, what's he got here? I think he was getting a little bit tilted. Oh my golly gosh, oh, he is no. dead as zero. Isn't that epic? Oh it's man. Not... <laughs> and he gets diamond too. What the hell was that? I have not seen that in like forever. <laughs> Go Terry. Oh my. <laughs> okay. And he has diamond art, which is our scent, but it only goes away when you hit him. It's our scent plus psycho com combined, I just realized, huh? That. He's got full stone, he's ready to let it rip. But he does he is out of iron though, so Steve's best move is off the table. Is he gonna block high? Oh, okay. Oh Zoo's pretty close to getting rid of this Arsene here. Hold on. But with that diamond, I mean it, there's just so much that you have to do to get back into this game. It's basically an Arsene that lasts for like twelve minutes, honestly, as long as you want to. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, so somehow Zoo, once again, getting back into this game, not letting the Steve have uh, as much fun as he wants. Okay, no, G Extreme is not close again to Diamond at all, so he's gonna have to stick with these stone and iron tools. He's really trying to mine up there, but Zoo is put a, putting the pressure on him. Yeah, gonna and, you can him see, down. and you can see at the moment, Zoo's not even interested in zoning because he knows that that shot put isn't Ooh. going to do anything to that uh, mining technique. He just wants to get some sort of combo started, and... The one good thing about this oh. is he's putting him in the corner, but that forward smash is going to seal out game four for G Extreme. And we're finally going to a game five. Another game five in the winner's semis. Would you look at that? I think this is the right pick, honestly. I think that yeah. uh, if you're Zoo, you either pick one of the smaller stages or you pick uh, Battlefield where um, you're, oh, okay. you're less susceptible to. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, don't do that. I would advise. You know, another stride do for Steve is, is when you go FD, you don't actually go FD. You go an FD form of a different stage where the floor is different. Like you go FD form of PS2 because on FD, I'm saying FD a lot. Anywho, um, on on FD when Steve mines, Steve uses the shovel, and when you use a, like a different stage, then Steve Steve can use like an actual tool he uses during the match, so you can just change the which FD you go to, and he'll waste durability mining with you know one of his core tools instead of just shovel, which he doesn't use as a move move set. Where, is, where are we going? Small battlefield. Okay. Small battlefield. All right. All right, we got a smaller PS2 here, just more more room to rush yeah. him in. That's really Good cool, choice. by the way. Oh, enjoy your sixty percent. Nope, he mouse it up. Good fair. Not quite getting the command grab and <laughs> skill being displayed. All right. Oh, baited him with Ooh. trying to mine, but no. It's oh. just the conversions oh that this get are, are so. G Extreme so is running away with this right now. Oh no! Look at that back air. It's perfect back air to catch the jump oh, time. Oh, he might zoo. go for the cheese there. One too many. Oh, that's gonna be a lot of jabs. Z S D I Nasarda. Ooh, a B nice. Doesn't oh, matter. Please. Take your 43. And he really made the most out of oh that gold. Oh my goodness! How? When does jab F smash be a combo? What the hell is this? <laughs> uh, I guess it's on gold only. Uh, I the think I saw swing. that somewhere. Yeah. Um. He he only has the iron for the sword because gold is a higher priority too tool. So he has gold for the up air and pickaxe. So yeah. Oh. He is already dead Whoa. again. Oh no, G Extreme has Arsene and Zeus on his last stock. This is really run Just like Terry, yeah. you know, if you lose the lead, it is immensely hard to make the comeback. I'm not gonna lie. This oh my! <laughs> what on okay, earth? Okay, well. Oh my um, god. F Smash cancel with no lag, yeah. <laughs> Chat, uh, have any of you character. ever thought of that as like a spacing option? Like real stuff. Uh, that's <laughs> Interesting optimal option. Actually crazy. Okay, the backer's gonna okay. see all that stock though, backer so. Backer thankfully does it. Oh! Yeah. Big punch for, for the crafting table. So. I really do want to see a zoo come Ooh. back. I feel like that'd be nuts. Yeah, that would be pretty epic to happen, but she seems really run away with it. Air dash deck. I was just looking for the up tilt or jabs. That's going to be the confirmed moves right now for G Extreme. Well, dash Ooh, deck okay. does cross with the shield. It's a side B. Uh, 
Oh, Zoo's really got to crawl his way back here. If you try to rush him too much, Steve's going to eat that up. Up smash or whatever. Up to up smash will definitely kill from the extreme zone. Zoo's really got to gotta pick his openings carefully. Get spanked by the wooden sword. And that's going to be one more solid edge guard away from actually sealing this up. Oh, that could be really bad. But he doesn't go in for it yet. Has our sin again. Mine, only three minecarts left, two, and he gets popped on one. Oh he my He doesn't even go goodness. for diamond. He doesn't even do it. He just goes for the forward smash, and that's going to be it. Uh, G Extreme wow. taking game five, and I think I'm going to be off commentary now. Um, Green Goblin, what? Green Goblin? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, there we go. I'm not that <laughs> Spider-Man villain guy. Anywho, bye peeps. Uh, I won't go off commentary if I'll be on solo. Or... Oh, but I have to commentate with your boy Dengstab. Wait a second. Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. <laughs> it's your boy. <laughs> Do you want? Yeah, yeah, right? Heinous to not go in center. <laughs> I agree with that sentiment. Yeah. See, I was going to go off, but then I saw this guy here. Oh, yeah. And you know what? That changes up the whole game, I got to say here. How you doing, thanks, Dad? I'm getting loose. Yeah. Y'all got to ah, get loose. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, that was, a, that was a little advice. <laughs> Y'all got to get loose. Okay, watch this. So the T.O.'s in the house, the Danky Kang's in the house, <laughs> the, the Beepus Boopus, not in the house, but it definitely is you. Yeah, I TO tonight. No big deal. What did you do tonight? <laughs> well, you just watched Smash Bros. I organized it. Mode is begging Heinous not to go Incineroar. Yeah. You know, it, it put in a little bit of work. I know. Heinous, Heinous gets frustrated in this matchup. I don't blame him. You get ahead against a Terry, and then what does he do? Just kills you. Later, bro. Later, man. That was Apollo. Yeah. Bidding us all a farewell. Say fond farewell back to Cal. Is he even a student? Because this is a full time job. He's not a student at UHart anymore, is he? Or UConn Hartford? Um, I forget. I'm not sure. Plank Gang? Got lots of employment coming out from uh, Hog. <laughs> <laughs> of varying different uh, professions and apprenticeships. and. Right. I think there's a plumber on the screen. Up there in the top left corner. Apollo graduated. Good stuff, so Apollo. So why hasn't he yet to correct me about that? God damn it, Apollo. We'll see you next week. <laughs> Thanks, Haas. <laughs> Appreciate you. All right, Hanus texting his girlfriend asking, Yo, should I go planking? Put on sleep mode. That's the strat. They got to check the tags. Yeah. Well, green guy does. Yeah. Oh, green guy got it. GG. He's not actually going plank gang, is he? Is he locked it? Oh, he's... Oh, dark plank gang. Okay. There we go. Go to sleep, Robert. Do it. Alright. Let's see. So as we saw earlier in the winter semi set against Clive, the recipe to beating uh, Terry is distance. Keep your damn distance from this man, especially when he's got his steroids, when he's got the juice. Ooh. Well, it's distance and it's also uh, knowing what approach options are actually coming around. Uh, you saw uh, C Live when he was playing against Green Guy really know where exactly to hit uh, with Sora's um, boxing materials yeah uh, it wasn't so much about the zoning game as it was about just like knowing where he was uh and at 107 percent at this he's point got the it's... juice uh oh that might be it he's got the juice but does he have the sauce oh he he's got the recovery sauce oh but there he goes back to the side of the, s of the stage and 
Oh, he got him. He didn't get his jump back. Okay. Nice one. Now, nice Hayne is having a, having a pretty decent lead going into uh, the six-minute mark here. Oh, the Nair. Oh, okay, so that just stuffs up air, sure. Oh, do it. Go for it. Oh. If I'm heinous, and you would know this if you watch me, you go for that dare. You go off stage for that dare right there. Right. Even if you wind up losing your stock, if you hit him, that's 2-1. I love those little forward smash reads that heinous does sometimes. Yeah. I feel like 60% of them do like 4%. <laughs> Yeah. But it's still great. Uh, oh, try to catch him off guard with the rotor arm, and he's going to pay for that with his life. Just a fully charged up smash straight to the face. I didn't expect that, just because I'm so used to Terry doing, like, five hits and then throwing you off the stage. Right. Oh. Okay, good roll back from Hainus there. Hainus has no reason to approach right now. So, nope. he's taken Oh, he got the time. grab. Like I said, if there's... If there's one thing Hainus does exceptionally well, it's... Oh, he's at perfect 100. Okay, not anymore. But it's got a grab. With that being said, he can't risk it all for a grab right now. Oh, okay. These... Oh, okay. That That's might cost us... Mash. Oh, the mash. Oh, okay. God. I'm not really sure what Hainus was reading there with that run back. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, oh that... Box. That's not fair. That was almost it. Not gonna lie. No jump oh, sure. ledge like the That's going to be enough. Oh. Nice, nice. Now Hainus doing his damnedest to keep his distance. Got the, the grab. The crack shoot. Okay. It elects to go for the... Oh, never mind. I was going to say, with that grab, he went for the guaranteed damage instead of back throw. Oh, trip. Nice down tilt. Okay, good narrow on the shield. Oh, good spot dodge. He's going to get another there, Where's the instead. punish? Where's the punish? Is that it? That is it. That's it. Wow. Just he doesn't like, have his jump. Yep. That was such a good reaction time. That was a good... Hainus. Listen, I'm not going to lie. The uh, he got Hannes got killed early twice. One off of... And both off mistakes. Like That's something I would I would worry about. Or something I would think about if I'm Hannes. Because besides those two mistakes at ledge, you crush that shit. Besides, besides the... Uh, What's the move when he like just jumps down with this stupid punch? That's a uh, power dunk. Yeah, 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 yeah. He killed him with that. I think was there extra power on it because he had the steroids. Besides that, he didn't even let he, he didn't even get an attempt off with with uh, the go meter. So you know, it's like he's doing a good job beating the Terry. But again, green guy, green guy has the capability of beating you if you make mistakes outside of the matchup. Like, he beat me without using Go once. Oh, wow. I didn't let him, yeah. and then he just outfunded me. Honestly, he just made smart decisions. And I that's feel what like Green Guy can hold his own without Go meter. It's the reason why yeah, he that's, so high that's, in these uh, games. Yeah, that's my point. Like, he can he can still he can, he can hold his own without it, and if you let him have it, then all of a sudden, you know, there's that fear factor. Oh, he got the power dunk. Gets hit in the face with a Beyblade. Never, yeah. never feels good. But I think Green Guy is warming up a little bit more to the zoner game. I think it's really the boxer uh, hits that he really needs to get Oh, Heinous whiffed the grab. Honestly, that's kind of a mistake. Like I said, yeah, he's I very good at getting those grabs. When he doesn't get an easy one, I I consider that an error. To be frank with you. But boy, he's still cooking. He's still cooking. He's giving him go. But what's going to happen now? Oh, that town and city platform may, may be the saving grace for Green Guy. Oh, Heinous, maybe not. Heinous is just giving it to him right now. He knows exactly oh, when Green Guy's going to okay. Uh, uh, that's really unfortunate, but I still really like uh, what Hainus has been doing. All right, Hainus doesn't let him run away uh, with the second stock. It's, it's he's still in a good position. Uh oh. Yeah, if I were Hainus right now, I would just play with a lot of really safe moves. Not so much on the zoning game, but just knowing yeah. what is next. Oh, is gonna be. that get up attack. Been, it could have been bad. It could have been really bad, but instead it's going to be bad. Still is kind of bad. Oh, the power guy. It is really bad. Uh oh. Almost. He's running away with it. off this next stop. And, and that, that power dunk could have been punished, but it's not. And that's yeah, and he's paying for this SD dearly. That's looking really bad for Hainus right now. This could be a. Th it is a three stock. All right, so he's just going to reset. So Hainus wasn't feeling that. And he just throws it away. Uh, Honestly, not... sometimes it's just best to just do the mental reset. It's not something that I recommend, though. If, if you're uh, in the game, you have a possibility. 
You gotta have a little bit of. Uh, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't do that either. But at the same time, we'll see if that works out here. He's sticking with Robert. I, that's the right. I believe that's the correct play. Okay, that's that's interesting. He's just throwing that game away. Uh, Give himself back to Rob. Honestly, I thought we were gonna see a character switch. Uh, in center or something. Yeah, I, there was a possibility, but. Well, I think he's going back to the lab with a bit of a different strategy, I would think. Oh, well, that luckily he can fly. Day. Okay, he wasn't expecting that. Oh, good roll expect. If he got that bear, that would have been exceptional. Oh, that was... I, I think, I think honestly, I was more impressed by the fact that that crack shoot somehow didn't hit him. Yeah. Okay, 8 to 5 percent. Yeah, I, I, I had a feeling he was going to go for that burn knuckle. Something really cheesy. Really get him off the stage yeah. and with all that shield pressure there is no stopping what Terry's gonna do and that's gonna be that might be it sure nope not it okay F couldn't smash. send him the right way I would have thought that up smash oh good space oh but he got spot dodge that's gonna be it he actually spot dodged that forward smash I have no idea how he saw that coming but it's going to reward him oh. massively. green guy's got something different in him man green guy it's that green it's that green it's that oh snap <laughs> yep yeah. oh Hit him with the O snap. That's oh, one of them. with the fair. That's oh, really the Nair didn't connect. Okay. That's really what Terry shines. But he has you at half your shield, and he just says, "I'm gonna go in for more." And he's, I'm gonna, I can see. Oh, he's got steroids now, though. Can't let him use it. Can't let him use it. <laughs> you call it steroids, not go beater. Ooh, does he get the mash? No, incorrect. No, mash. but he doesn't get, but he doesn't get killed either. Not yet. He is one more uh, throw uh -oh. away from actually getting. That's not the it, stock. though. I think Green Guy saw that coming though, and he just rolled on with him. No power, guys. That's going to no. be an up throw for sure. It's not. It's a down throw, but that's going to work anyway. And Hainus will take that. Cool. He's got a he's got a damage deficit though to deal with here. What? No way. Terry cheat. Terry's a cheater. I I don't like calling characters cheaters, but that was cheated. That was. Yeah, cheating. All right. You're not a cheater. You just did that exact thing though. <laughs> Robert not gonna be a little bit stale. Uh oh, that's gonna he cost him. No, no it's not, it. not yet. Well, if Hades can show a little bit of tenacity here, a little bit of zoning, then this might not be so hard for him to do. Oh, good okay. Nair. I think he's starting to expect these roll-ins. Uh, yeah. And he respects him. the frame data that he has on that power dunk, but Rising Tackle's gonna kill him. Yeah, unfortunately not gonna respect Terry's jab enough as it should be. Uh Oh. And we know that Hanus is really good with his throws, but against Harry, it's just such a huge commitment to actually go against. And especially oh, when you that. have all this damage ahead of you, you have to wonder how, uh, you know, in his head he actually is. Oh, good grab. Good grab. Oh, good catch with the with the rainbow laser. You oh, wanted good that decision there. by Green Guy, yeah. Of course he did. Good dash attack. Almost gets Green the Guy was so elusive with his recovery, but I think he's still dead here. Ooh. Oh, oh, he's my. dead. Yeah, yeah, I told you. Dead. And now Hainus has a shot. He's got a shot. He's going to be super duper careful. He does, and it would have been really oh, disastrous. The, if he oh, the blade. That's a mistake on Green Guy's what part. What was that conversion actually getting him up to I, oh, and his now, own percent? And, and now oh he's, he's almost winning. He's winning. Oh, no, he's losing. He is actually losing right now. Oh, and he wanted that up special to actually end the game. He might be getting a little bit scared there, but he's not going to get Buster Wolf. Still alive. Just going to be a normal power dunk, and this is really, really scary. He can actually... Oh, that's the upset that he wanted, but the up air's not going to kill quite yet. Oh, he doesn't get the Beyblade. He has to fight some... No way! He doesn't get Terry G. He needed every hit of side B there to get that kill. And he's going to get power dunk you... to the face. Oh. oh. It was so... He was so close. He was so close to actually getting that win. No. LM apostrophe foul. Excellent keyboard mash mode. Well, that's a call, but not an apostrophe. <laughs> He's running it back. He's like, you know what? Man. I had that. I had that. E. Well, he's got to have these next two games if he's got to actually be in this set. Uh, set. So you... I believe. Green guys gonna be a little more omniscient of the uh, Beyblade because that that almost cost him the game. That get, that let the, do the door open for Hainus when he had a pretty pretty harsh deficit going into the uh, Green guys third stock. We gotta believe in your boy Hainus here. Shout out to Hainus. Oh yeah. 
Everybody in chat, give Heinous your energy. And or Jesus. green guy, depending on who you want to win. <laughs> good roll out of the laser. Good oh, SCI good spacing on the bear. And I really do like how uh, sparing Heinous has been with these nares. Because you know they're going to catch the roll in. Uh, and they are going to lead into some sort of combo. But they have to be so precise against a character that just is in your face horizontally for the entire game. Doesn't get into the laser into gyro. And yeah, he's not even going to roll into power dunk. There's what no the hell? How did he get that grab? There are cheats. It's like what you were saying. Nothing more out of the jab, but okay, he just that landed. Power dunks. Somehow that lands, you know. Terry's hitboxes are pretty insane. They're bonkers, man. Oh, good. Good patience. Almost gets another laser. And some of his zoning tools are getting kind of jumped over by Green Guy, I've noticed. Hanus needs a grab. Desperately. He needs he needs a forward air is what he needs. He needs some sort of conversion. He needs some sort of combo starter. There we go. Right. Yeah. There, there we go. go. But now he's got the juice. Good up smash. Oh, nice. lordy. Oh, and that was the kind of up smash that Heinous has been looking for this entire set. Uh, the more that he can get that, the more that he can establish dominance in this game. But first, he actually needs to get back to ledge. Yeah. Okay. Good. Wait on the power dunk. There's that nair. Yeah, he's looking for the juggle. Oh yeah, it's a cross him up there. He's had a couple of unsafe uh, nares, probably because he was expecting something All else right. to come out. From and it's operating guy. with the Giga Patience. Ah, uh, it doesn't help him there though. He sees the SDI in, and he reacts accordingly with a rising tackle. And Green Guy's only got one more stock to take before he's into top five. Oh. Oh, he caught it. Oh, he actually hits him with it. Tombstone. Oh, gets double fair. Oh! Get down tilt. Yeah. Tilt. Hain just found a little bit of something in that neutral. Oh, he's got the... No, he rolls away from the grab. Up smash doesn't connect. Yeah, okay. He's going... He's getting a little bit antsy with these up smashes, and I think yeah. that's the sort of option that Green Guy is beginning to read. Crack shoot, making that shield down super low. If he gets anywhere on the stage, that's going to be a lot of trouble for Hain. Oh, good Nair! <laughs> really good Nair, actually. That's going to give him a little oh, what? bit of more... That was game over. He didn't, he didn't believe. He didn't believe. He didn't believe. What? Oh, what? man. Nah, that's it. Well, he just got... He just ran up and did it. What the I hell? I don't think he's okay. I don't think he's okay. <laughs> All right. I think I'm going to be on the stream setup now. A uh, little bit tuckered out. And I'm going to give this <laughs> over to someone else. Good stuff to Green Guy. And uh, good tidings to the rest of the set. I'll see you all later. <laughs> all right. This was Impetros. Come up here and be degenerate with me. Yeah, power dunk guy frames went through laser exactly that. Dude, <laughs> that's not supposed to happen, man. Letter combo. <laughs> what happened? What did I miss?
All right, then here we are. There's just quarters and oh my. What? <laughs> Keep! That was so weird. Oh, Zeus dead. All right, then. Oh. And let's see. Oh. Dancing and up. Oh, is he cooking? What's, what is he cook? Oh, okay. Oh, good spot dodge. Turn around, grab. Oh. Um, Bruce, what's Bruce got? Bruce! Brucey. It's the back air. Oh, and hits him with that smash. And then he died. Oh. Oh. German suplex. Oh, the fearless snare. Oh, and gets another back air. Trading aerials. Oh, number of the beasts coming out. Mario. Back throw. And, oh, just barely whiffing that back air. And is that going to cost him the stock lead? It just might. It just might. It do. <laughs> Zoo coming back with the lead now. But only for a moment. And the moment's gone. There is coming out. Oh, the parries. Right now, Zoom needs to find a way to get in and start a combo or something. Oh, the German suplex off the platform. And, oh, Zoo gonna take this. What Zoo guy's got a bear? Watch the cabin. Oh, he doesn't throw out the Nair on the way back up the stage. I don't know if that would have helped or not. 100. With a minor stock lead or damage lead. Not anymore, though. Oh. Now Don's got him on the ropes. I don't think he has a jump. Oh, the Nair. Oh, he just hits him with the up smash. Oh, the... The equalizer up smash. Later, man. Alright, we're running it back to Pokemon Stadium. Oh, I think he had a grab there, but he expected something else to have happened. Now the combo's coming out. The trading of back airs. Man grab misses, and he's going to pay for that. Oh, but not by mu but not with much. Okay. Bear, the Nair, the up tilt, the grab, the up B, and that's going to be a stock lead for Zoo. Oh, are we going to see an immediate clap back just like game one? No. Oh, my lordy. That spot dodge. And now he's just going to pour it on a little bit. Oh, my God. Does he just do it to do him again? No. Oh, man. He is cooking Don right now. Don is getting stewed. Oh, and then Zoo died. The Zoo stew. Okay, that's what we're going to call it now. When that's, that's what we're going to call victims of people getting cooked by zoo. They're in the zoo stew. All right? People quote that. Use that. I want credit, too. Say Dank Step sent you with that one. It's a good one. The zoo stew. Uh. Oh, ho, 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 man. What a catch. 
He just knew it was going to happen, and he let it happen, and then he did something about it. Down throw. The aerials, the up air. Ooh, what's something going to make happen here? Oh, the jab lock. Down smash. That was optimal to get better stage presence. Um, obviously, an F smash wasn't going to kill, but alas, it didn't work out. Oh, and zoo. Oof! Don't throw out a nair there to, to avoid uh, catastrophe. Grab. Up, down. Oh, the back throw. Oh, Bear would have done it, but, the, but again, it gets interrupted. Oh, wow. I'm surprised they didn't trade. Gets the back air, but just remember, Don still has a stock deficit here. Oh, oh the bravery on Zoo. If he was like even a, like a frame early, I think he's dead, right? Well, he's dead. Now, what's Don gonna do here? Oh, he's got a parry, a dare. Up air, up air. Oh, he may. He had the read, but then Zoo spot dodged what he was cooking. All right. All right. Bruce Wayne, Zoo cooking a stew. Run it back. Ugh, Don looks a little disheveled. That last one kind of got away from him a little bit. Taking a breather. Doing what good players do and evaluating, reassessing. Also getting that whatever crap's in his eye out of his eyes. It's also wise just for general facial health, I guess. Playing with his hair. I think I left this comb at home, though. All right. Now we're going Lilac Cruise. Nope. That's what I'm going to say to him again. Oh, we're going to TNC. Yeah. A little bit of a change of pace. This appears to be a stage that uh, Pokemon Stadium 2 is working too good for Bruce Wayne. That's 6.9 for Batman. You love to see it, people. Oh, oh, we're not seeing anymore. Okay. Oh, avoids the dare. And the nair and zoo is still cooking the stew. The zoo stew. Okay. He's got Don in a disadvantaged position. There's the German suplex. Up. Oh! Shot put misses. Oh, but the bear's not going to miss. That's going to cue up air. Oh. The zoo is just... Oh! It's <laughs> hard falls. Uh, this felt a little weird. Oh, it grabs him again with the German suplex. Hits him with a dash attack. Oh, oh is that it? Nope. Oh, catch! Oh no way! Catch him with another command grab. Oh, and the bear. Oh. Again, trading aerials. Oh, doesn't get the parry, but he gets by Mario, and now the. Mm. Oh, he went for a mega read and gets killed for it. Stock lead is no more. But he still has advantage. He still has advantage here. Uh, the dare, up air. Uh oh. Oof! Again interrupted by the nair. Down throw. Oh no! Do we see the great equalizer? Oh, the up smash. No way! Oh, I thought he was just gonna go for it after he saw the up, the uh, air dodge. I guess he knows that one that killed. Oh, the bear! The bear! He's not gonna get the bear yet. He's still looking for it, though. He still wants it, obviously. Uh, there, 969. You like to see it. Oh, four, five. Oh. Wait, and now all of a sudden, Don is winning this game. The parry. Oh, and Don's going to live. 
Now what can Don do to bring this set back? Oh, well, that ain't the answer. Oh, the shot put almost rolled off the platform and killed him. With the last tick. And with only a 6.3% damage lead, what is Don going to do to try and reverse sweep this? What has he got left in the in the proverbial tank? The down air. Oh, the air dodge, dude. He probably should jank. Down throw. Oh, the up. He elects not to go to the platform. That was wise. That was very wise. He needs to get out of the corner now. And he's out of the corner. Now Mario's got to get out of the air. Oh, he's got the air dodge, dash attack, and... Oh, my lord! He saw his jump? I thought he took his jump away! Anyway, dash attack, and Don's still in a heap of world of trouble. This might be it here. It's it there, and Don... No, not yet. It's never it when I say it is, is it? Oh, and that's gonna, that's definitely it. And Don is eliminated. Zoo with a 3 nil. Hello there. <laughs> Who do we got next coming up, Artie? That should be uh, winner's finals, right? All right. All right, Clive Hive, rise up. It's Sea Live. So Don exits at, I uh, was at fifth place. Eh, you know. Jesse, it appears we both made winner's finals. Clivenberg. Chippy. What else is happening back here? Uh. Alright. So here we go. I anticipate G Extreme going Roy until he can't anymore. Ooh. This. Ocean Blue Roy. You love to see that armor, don't you? It's so shiny and. Blue. Yo, that Sora skin looks like the guy who offers you a really bad deal in that meme. You know the one. I assume. How many viewers do we have right now, Artie? Sword things versus Roy things, and oh, the parry, and a he, he died. Hey, it's Mr. Concept. Hello. Oh, he's okay. Dare. Oh, oh. jab. Oh, the counter comes out a little too soon. Oh, wow. Clive with the counter they kind of had to go for. Uh, oh, trying to cook something. Clive Hive cooking with real honey, right? Hey, thanks. First one on him. Oh, and the counter. That's the Jer. 
as Snake would call it, even though he doesn't have that. Oh, down throw. It doesn't get anything. Okay, well, sort of gets nothing off of it. The Extreme still has a pretty good lead here. And whacked up with a key a little bit. Oh! And with that Blizzaga. Okay. What's Clive gonna do? He's gonna freeze him and oof. Fire. Back throw. Oh, it doesn't get him with that real. Oh. Okay. He's gonna go deep. Oh, he had something there, I think. Before she extreme to do something that felt kind of dangerous. Oh, he just got thunderstruck. It's okay. ACDC is a bad band. Oh, there we go. All right. I wish I had a better ACDC impression, but at the same time, it's they're not a good band. So I'm okay that my thunderstruck reference didn't land. Anyway, G Extreme still won that one, so JV2. Huh. No one likes environmental noises, that's the joke. I'm gonna do here. Be beating the crap out of him with a metal object. That isn't as sharp as a sword, but it hurts. I wouldn't want to get crap kicked on me with that. Sounds like it fucking hurt. The nair. Oh, oh. Hits him with those silly little aerials that he has. Oh, tries to jump away, but, you know. Oh, then with the bear. Thunder's not gonna connect this time. That's shield pressure, though. Oh, and that F-Smash, bruh. Bruh. Oh, the roll read, my guys. My roll read. Okay, get some... Oh, and now all of a sudden, Clive's just kind of getting... Oh, he went for a spike for the ages, but doesn't get it. And instead, he's going to get killed. 1-1. Uh, uh, this, is, this is looking like uh, GX Stream's got the advantage here. Oh, scooped him, gets a grab. Oh, and he's going to pay for that dearly. He gets the shield pressure with the Blizzaga. G Extreme. Oh, it's the dash attack. Oh, got to get more damage done. Oh, good patience from Clive. Gets rid of Blazaga. Gets the grab. He's not on any part of Blazaga for some reason. Oh, that fair. <laughs> uh. 
Yeah, I'm gonna... Start the battle. What can Clive do? It's a different sort of skin every time. Oh, the footstool, baby! It's concrete! Oh, excellent! That's not gonna be enough to kill him. That won't be enough to kill him. That will, though. Oh, the excellent. getting a lead here. We can all go away in a moment if he doesn't do the proper thingies. Oh, excellent. Still getting back. Still doing damage with the shield pressure. Oh, and he just caught him out of midair with that. Get the hell out of here, he says. Oh, there's no way he evens this up, like, completely, right? No way. I didn't think so. Oh, that was a crazy roll. What's gonna get? That's a few other arrows. Oh, is this just... Okay, back throw. And this might be a two stock. We need to go a counter there, I think. 100. Oh, and that... That F-Tilt is just a motherfucker move, isn't it? Man. Right now, G-Extreme in trouble this game three. going to lead to the end, I believe. Yup! 2-1. Are we going to see the double reverse 3-0 from Clive? Or are we going to see it to send him to Grands? What do you think? What do you think? I think he can win game 4, but we saw when Zoo got to a uh, you know, forced to game four and won two games. G Extreme busted out Stefan, and that was that. Clive's got to be. I mean, Clive's got to look. In, he's got to look what's in front of him. He's probably going to play Roy again, right? Trying to hurt his lips. I don't think he's going to switch. But does he not really play Pika anymore? Is that it?
Okay. Oh, I misunderstood, yeah. I mean, he'll clean up with Pika, yeah. Oh, my! Is that gonna be enough, though? Yes! No! Yes? Oh, whatever. Don't give him any consolation credit. You gotta kill him now, my guy. Oh. That's death. Later, friend. Oh, now he's cooking him. He's cooking him. Clive Hive made with real honey, baby. Oh, wait. Oh, I forgot. Genie Extreme's at 69. You'll love to see it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Excellent. And now we're about to go into the eye of the storm here. Genie Extreme down two stocks. Oh. And Clive is just cooking him up. Oh, look at the stew. Look at the stew on the stove. Bit. Shut that the wrong way, but still. That could be it. The scoop, the slam, and into the background goes Clive. But G still got a quite a lead to, to chop away if he's gonna if he's gonna you know prevent a game five scenario. That's what I'm trying to say. And it's going to game five. Alright, do we see Steve or Pika? Because I don't believe we're going to see another Roy game. Especially after that. Yeah, let's, and also let's not forget. See, like, reverse 3 0 He's already got one reverse 3 nil today. Against, um... Against Green Guy. We're going back to small BF. Oh, he's going to honor MDSR? No, he's going to... Bring out the music, okay. If I were him, I'd call MDSR just to piss off G Extreme. But he ain't gonna. He's gonna face Steve here. Small battlefield. Just as God intended. Okay, I just see this this expressionless smile on Steve's face and I just think evil alright so Clive has a lead right now but you know. oop oh no way okay oh and then here comes the combo no not yet oh Clef's cooking, Clef's cooking. Does he get a PR win here? Or another PR win, I should say. He beat Don earlier this tournament. Oh, 69. You'll love to see it. Oh, he's got the golden axe now. He's letting him mine. That is... Mm. Oh, the forward throw. Oh, good air dodge, but he still gets knocked away. And now he's dead. He's got the Blazaga on deck. Okay, he's got Faraga. Thundaga. He's got the grab, but he gets more jabs. Oh no, the SD! Don't like to see it, but that might open up a bit of a door. Uh oh, never mind, he's got the diamond. He's got the gemstones. Good air duck. No, I guess not. Oh, good. Alright, you can lurk. We'll go with that. Oh, good aerial. Oh no, he's coming back. And... 
All right. Clive still getting damage done. Oh, he just barely skated the clouds of that minecart. Takes some damage off. It was like a perfect 69. Disrupted by G-Extreme because he's an asshole. Now he's going to ride a minecart to his death. Yup. See life, he's a local Sora player. He's kind of the only one representing the character here in Connecticut. But do recall, Connecticut is a very, very, very deep state. Not, not, not like government conspiracy deep. Just like we're just really fucking good at Smash. Oh, and now it's dead. Even G Extreme, on the other hand, is third in the state, and I think like what fifth in New England. And G Extreme's gonna have to start playing like it if he doesn't want to be dealt a major upset here. Sora. Oh no, he's starting to run away with it, but... Oh man. Oh, he froze him. He's not going to get anything off it. Oh, oh, it just barely avoids the down smash that would have killed him. Uh oh, minecart. Oh no. Oh, avoids the anvil. Throws out thunder to save himself. Oh, oh. Good fade away. Alright, slides under the... Freaking minecart and oh my god, GX was pulling out all the stops, all the tricks. No! Oh man. Wow. That was close as hell. Close as hell, right, DK? Alright, the gimmick didn't work. Whatever, I'll just take the headset off the frickin' monkey. Wasn't funny. I get it. Eh. Well. So, Green Guy and Zoo. You welcome back to the stream. Green Guy, the, uh... Young Terry player, but he's very good. And we got Zoo, seasoned expert... Zoo would be the best Terry in Connecticut, but he, but he switches between here, you know, that, and right now tonight he's playing Bruce Wayne, the uh, me brawl, the Batman me brawler. Uh, honestly, because it's Green Guy, I'm not ruling out that Zoo busts out the Terry, just to try and match him strength for strength, you know. All right, while we await the presence of Green Guy, I'm going to... Damn it, where's my phone? I want to do some trolling. Here we are. All right. And while we await the presence of... Uh... Oh, never mind, he's here. So, all right, never mind. I guess I'll read Goodnight Moon to the chat another night. Guy's got a lead right now. Oh, the midair clank. Okay. Oh man. Like I said, Zoo. Zoo actually won a GVS synthesis in week like two of the character of Terry existing, right? Like with Terry. And for those of you in the chat who are unaware, Synthesis used to be like a 70, 80, 90 per entrant tournament way back before the pandemic here in Connecticut. And you saw a lot of the best from Mass in Connecticut show up every week. 
including light, including Link. Sometimes you got in Terror Bank. Sometimes you got Kiwi. And you oftentimes got Zoo here. And he had one one with week two Terry. So he knows what to expect. It's it's the green it's the element of green guy that uh, that he have to adjust for. And green guy fucks up. Oh no. Oh no, the SD. No. Oof. Oh, 100. Oh, four for four, the Wendy's percent. Okay. Bring you guys back to stage, and... No, he doesn't get close enough for the rising tackle, but... Yeah, he's gonna face a punishment for that, yep. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Well, that's going to be enough, you know, sir. <laughs> oh, that was that felt so dangerous. Green guy living on the edge of d danger. Dash attack. She just doesn't connect and oh, he just just inputs it. Yo, yo, can we get a brawler sucks chant from the crowd now? Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna see we're going to book one soon. Yeah, can we get a fuck brawler in the chat? Don't actually type that. There might be kids watching. Alright. Zoo, just want to remind people, not, it's not sponsored by Red Bull. Although, while we're waiting for this game to start, let me just say that even though I'm a monster drinker, I like Red Bull from the sense of they sponsor like the coolest, like stupidest shit. <laughs> Look up the flu talk sometime. You'll see what I mean. Bruce Wayne. Three, two, one, go. Oh, yeah. Oh, the clank. And now he's going to, like, green guy feel it. Here's what I was kind of saying last time he played Dawn on stream, right, green guy? Like, he, um, of course he's on the cusp. He's got upsets. He's got wins on some PR players, but if we're being real here, you got to keep beating these seasoned players, these the old guard or whatever, if you want to see at the table. Right now, green guy is in a top four scenario, and, oh, just makes it back. But what is? But is he gonna beat Zoo? Is he gonna keep? Is he gonna keep making progress or getting that that uh, proverbial seat at that table? Uh oh, is he gonna punch for that? No, good rollback. Parry into the grab. But, oh, okay. That's him with that. Oh, the, the giga spacing on Zoo. Get up attack doesn't work. Makes it back. Back air. Avoids the shot put. Oh, the spot dodge. And catch them with the power dunk. Power guys are on deck. Doesn't work out. Smash, and that's not going to be enough on Kalos. Neither will that. Oh, gives him with a defensive hitbox. Oh, I didn't parry it correctly. Now this is a deficit. Oh, good air dodge. Oh, he didn't believe. That's going to cost him some damage. 
Oh yeah, this is nuts. Hey, uh, Dito269, where, where are you watching us from, my guy? Oh, and that's going to be a stock. Oh. Oh, I don't know. So, do you compete? Because I... I don't, I don't think I've seen you in the chat before or, like, in tournaments. Oh! Oh, God, I'm sorry I don't remember you, man. I, I apologize for that. But, yeah, here we are. Green guy. Can we make something happen with the steroids? Nope. I actually vaguely remember that now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> alright what's Green Guy gonna do to get back into this like I said Zuno's all the Terry tricks but can Green Guy do something to him? oh staying hydrated like a like a good gamer he do be gaming though whatever you do don't bust out the Sephiroth no, no, don't do it. Don't do it, don't do it, don't, don't, please, no. Don't, no. No. Okay, oh, Super Saiyan Terry, okay. Kazuya Mishima. <laughs> Stays on the bench. Love to see it. Ooh, there's a 39 for you. And there... Uh oh. Good spot. Good air dodge to get back. Well, that's now the Batman, though. Oh, perfect 100, though. Oofa! Not going to be enough yet, but he's got a damage lead now. Who gets him? Back when, oh, is, is he gonna let him back? Yup. And oof, doesn't get the spike. They're both so close to death. Oh no, he dies for that. That's it. Uh, let's see, he's still got the steroids. What is Zoo gonna do to clean up the stock? Oh no, he's getting slapped now. Uh, and he's gonna pay for that. Yup. No doubt. Oh, he just runs up and gets grabbed. And maintains damage lead for now. But only for a moment, and the moment's gone. Dash attack. Oh, the empty hops. Uh, he didn't fool the green guy though into doing something stupid. And oh, he's got the juice. He's got the steroids now. What's he going to do with it? Hit him with that. Roid right. Nope. Never mind. Oof. Good read by Zuba. It's not enough yet. Oh, my lord. Again, he makes it. Oh, he's just not letting... He's not letting Green Guy ha do anything. Come on, Gold Guy. That's it. No, he doesn't get anything out of that. No up smash from Zoo. I believe that would have killed. And I'm seeing some spaghetti here. There you go. Alright. So now, what is he to do? Okay, just Buster Wolf right in his shield and killed... Oh, good combo there for 43. And now, come on. Let's see what Spring is going to get. What's Spring going to do? Alright, not 
knocks him away. Now he's going to take a little bit of punishment. 69. Love to see it. 100. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is that it? Oh, no. Oh, my Lord. And Zoo just laid it on him. That's an another 3-0 for Zoo. Like I said, man. These guys fighting at the seat of the table, man. Green guy. He's not there yet, but he's knocking on that door. Yeah, right now Zoo's giving uh, Green Guy some advice, and that's good. This is this is what we respect about Connecticut. Every damn near all of us, top to bottom of the skill tier, skill list, we are approachable. You can talk to us. We will get. You, we will improve you. So yeah, come visit. You know, come to Ha. Come to uh, Vortex. That's tomorrow. Wednesday's Gamers Guild in New Britain, you know, come talk, chat, play, and get better. Like, I cannot stress enough. Connecticut, especially the closer you get to New York, Connecticut is omega stacked. And I would say per square mile, I'd say we're probably the most stacked state per square mile, if you know what I mean. Okay, I guess the third smallest state in the Union, and yet look at all the talent we got. Look at us. Look at all these people we got. We got Light, we got Ling, G Extreme. Ah, green guy. Desync. Special feature at Hog. We got a dummy switch where you can just desync your Pro Controller. So you don't have to, you know, be stupid about it. Yeah, buddy. Koga, I, I would, but aren't you, like, semi-retired now because you got kids, though? Like, no disrespect, but, like, uh, you've got other priorities nowadays, don't you, bro? Two, one, go. Honestly, you could you could easily, well, not easily, but you could definitely still be a top ten player, but the thing is, you got kids, bro. <laughs> and right now, Clive, letting Zoo freaking have it, bro. Oh, man. Super Saiyan Clive. The Clive Hive? Or is he going to get cooked in the zoo stew? Oh, it's just standing there menacingly. Oh, the counter. And is Clive about to get gimped? No, he's not. Smoking that blitz pack. So it's good. Alright. I I want you to elaborate, but at the same time, this is heated. Focus on this and oh, oh, he charged it too long. He's gonna get punished for that. And oh, oh, and he gets cooked with the up smash. Excellent timing from one zoo. Oh, but the immediate receipt. Here you go, sir. You're dead. Oh. Oh, is that? Oh, that, that that's the old, that's all the context. Oh, well, good shit, man. He's like fifth right now. Very good work, Koga. <laughs> God damn. But uh, anyway, Clive and Zoo just swinging there, swinging, dude. Oh my lord! The double parry into the freaking kick. Ladies and gentlemen, Bruce motherfucking Wayne, the Batman. It's very simple, Clive. You kill the Batman. Oh my god. Yo, Zoo. Zoo has absolutely no mercy. Later, green guy. I'll see you next time. Clive is getting cooked in the zoo stew, baby.
Ah. Do it. No, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Clive spin straight facts about Luke. <laughs> Oh, you'll love to see people having fun and even in losers finals this deep in a bracket, dude. This is what locals are made of. Look at the smirks, look at the smiles. The breaking barrels is the German suplex. Oh Phantom Footstool. through and Clive is now safe and on stage. Oh, it doesn't connect with the up B. And, uh, okay, but Clive still with a pretty good lead. Oh, big lead. Oh, he's getting frosty. And he's getting up smashed. To death. Ow. What the fuck? Oh, you knows who wanted the equalizer spike there, but he doesn't get it. Oh, he's racking up a lot of damage, and he just took a stock lead. What the hell? Yeah, and Clive wanting to vomit now, and I don't fucking blame him. Where is the answer for 1C live? Uh, oh, there. Okay, well, there is a answer. It turns out it was violence. Uh oh. Oh, is that it? No. Whoa! Just barely evading the shot put. Oh, that was almost the game. That's the game. And Zoo now just cleaning up the loser side right now, dude. Absolutely, a, a, man. Zoo, are you Exodia? Because every time I see you face someone, it's obliterate. I mean, that's good too, I guess. I respect it, man. Brawl was pretty cool for what it was. Alright. So, Clive, does he have a reverse 3 0 in him once more? He had one against Green Guy earlier. He almost had one against uh, G Extreme earlier in the night. And now he's going to need another reverse 3 0 if he wants to get back to G Extreme in finals. And oh, 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 no, and he makes it back. Somehow, some way.
Oh, man. Oh, no, there's the Zeus stew. Ah, uh, but Clive's alive right now. Okay, gets the rapid jab. Oh, in the back air. Yo, imagine me brawler for a moment. Oh, and me, the command grab German suplex here. Uh, a bear. I just getting whacked. And oh, ho, 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 caught him. German suplex. And, uh, flames grab, forward throw. Oh, the parry, but he's not getting anything out of it. Got an air. Down throw in. Oh, he just went for it. Oh, the s spacing to get the ledge even after whiffing that. Oh, he's going to live. But only for a moment, right? No, he's going to fight back. Oh. Oh, rolls right into it. Now Clive on his tournament stock. Down till. Oh, no, he's going to pay for that. The charge. That was so close. Now Clive on life support here. Oh, Bruce Wayne off the front of the glass, but now what can Clive do? What can C Live do here? Oh, no, that might be it. That's it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Clive just threatened to defriend him if he, if he switches to Meta Knight ever. Which reminds me, Rocky, if you're watching from home, how do you respond to that, bro? He gets the top eight with Cloud and he immediately decides he wants to be a Meta Knight main. I'll miss you, Rock. Oh, I gotta use the bathroom. I'll be right back.
Motherfucker.